Hello everybody, Sucrose here. Uh, super excited to play more abduction. Hey pal, I'm um, glad you're here man. So let's see, let me get everything set up. We've got to turn on this. I want to make sure people know not to give me any spoilers. And um, so I've got a new play toy this time, since we had such trouble getting the in-game um, screenshots working, check this out. I've got, I can pop up a screenshot tool and we can cycle through pictures and it's super fast and it's super beautiful and it uses real screenshots. So no worries about Uh, the darkness thing. I actually looked it up and there's just been an outstanding bug that the screenshots are too dark. Um, they never fixed it. So without further ado, hey Joey, welcome back man. Let's begin. Hopefully it's saved. <laughs> oh god, how, what would I do if after seven and a half hours they it uh, it didn't save. Hi, Miles. Welcome. Uh, yeah, apparently, because this is the Steam version, I would assume it has patches. It uh, if you take screenshots in a dark room, they're dark. Doesn't make any sense to me. I would know answers to the puzzles if no save. I guess that's true. It wouldn't take seven and a half hours to get back. But. Um, I think, at the very least, I would be sad. At the very least, I would be sad. I'm kind of surprised it takes this long to load. All right. Oh, man, I'm so... I've been thinking about this game. Hey, Risto. Welcome. I've been thinking about this game for the past couple days. I cannot stop thinking about it. What's this game about? Um, <clears throat> well, it's, it's a lot like Myst, if you've ever played Myst the old uh, adventure puzzle game. Um, but it's it came out in 2016, and it's definitely puzzles that you kind of have to figure out how stuff works and interacts and uncover mysteries and stuff like that. I hope so too, Joey. Uh, <laughs> there's, a, there's at least one great German in here already. Um... So, um, okay, all right. So here's what happened. So after we stopped playing, um, I couldn't sleep that night, and so I kept looking at the different things. And in fact, let me let me check now. So I played around with the stream's quality. Um, it's, it's looking pretty good. Um, but what I had noticed is that when we teleported, it just went to shit. It absolutely looked horrible. Um, and so I kind of started reading and kind of messing around, and I was looking through the video and comparing all these blah, 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 blah. Long story short, I figured out something. I figured out a puzzle. Um, and I think to do it, we want to head back to the... To the first world, which we get to by moving this bridge. Um, and I, I'm not exactly sure how to do it. We'll figure it out for sure. <clears throat> um, and and in addition, trying to figure out the screenshot stuff, I actually read some more of the diaries that I kind of flip through. Alright, so tell me if this looks like shit. Um, I'm gonna watch. Oh, this looks much better than it did. This looks much better. I mean, it still doesn't look great, but before it was... Um, uh, <laughs> this screen before totally messed up the encoding and it just got, got like 
blurry. Uh, yeah, Pale, that's what, that's what I want to do first. So, look at this fantastic world. It looks like super shit, but you don't have... Well, it looked worse yesterday. I mean, two days ago. Uh, at least, I think. Um, anyway, I, I guess let me put it like this. If anybody sees the quality different, better or worse, I'd appreciate um, letting me know. You've never seen that transition encoded better? Uh, <laughs> well... I, I'm not sure I can really take much credit. I just changed a couple settings. Um, all right. So, <clears throat> I still haven't figured out exactly how to move around the most efficient way, but what we're trying to do is we're trying to get to, uh, to this town over here. Um, also, we never managed to get on this side of the, the river over here, I don't think. You've watched a lot of streams this game. Oh, are you from the, are you from the, um, abduction discord? If so, very cool. I'm glad, uh, it, it's kind of weird because I didn't want to advertise, but at the same time, I thought if anybody wants to see this, it would be people in an, um, abduction discord. <laughs> Um, so, oh, you haven't been to this? How'd you find this, uh, this stream? Did you just, uh, search for abduction? We're gonna have to make a map at some point. I'm pretty sure. But um, it's still growing. Um, it hasn't. I mean, what what do you mean, Rista? I don't think I don't think the game has updates. I see. Well, very. <laughs> that's very fortuitous, Miles, because. Uh, Yeah. All right. So this is an example of what the the room where it was too dark to see the um, to see the screenshots. The upgrades. I I don't really know if they've been patching it or not. It, it came out in two th 2016. Um. But to be fair, s except for that uh, screenshot bug. Um, we haven't really encountered any bugs. Yeah, I don't think there's been any expansions. I, don't, I doubt there will be, but I don't know. <clears throat> Alright. So the idea is... We're going to head to the little mine shaft looking thing. And we're going to try to teleport this to a another world. And I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Yeah. You'd think, you'd think, Joey. You'd think. But, um, in, in case you missed it, I have, a, I have my own fix. So watch this. So we go, boom. Let's see if it works. Let's kind of play with it a little bit. All right, then we'll head over here, switch on screenshots. Okay, we do this, and then, boom, we've got our screenshot. And uh, I think I think this is going to be. Um, I think this is going to be great for us. It's it honestly it might even be quicker than hitting escape because that was so slow. Let me make sure I turned off the screenshot. Okay. <laughs> so 
Got to remember to do that. All right, fantastic. So see how... Look, look at this. So here's the teleporter, right? And over here is, is going to give us access to that red laser. And we're going to be able to destroy it with this. So I, I'm like 99% sure this is what we're supposed to do. I can even reach it from inside the car, which I definitely will do. Uh, traveling in style. Um, this screen, I think what's going on is that it like it takes the colors and then each little bit becomes its own, I don't know, insect looking thing and it kind of flies around and recreates. Uh... But look at this. Look at this. Now we have this laser and we're on this other planet. Um, and then we're going to destroy this thing which is going to open up some new areas. Um, how does this work? Okay. Eh. Um, little... Can't quite reach it. Okay, all right. Uh, There we go. <clears throat> so, oh, I should look at the sky. So, okay. So I don't really quite understand it. I, you know, I, I couldn't, I couldn't give you the the canon details, but I think what's going on is that. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. <laughs> there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff here. So I was reading through the journals um, that we had taken screenshots of. And apparently, it's not just technology that this blue laser can destroy. It's technology belonging to a particular race. Um, and that race is um, the people who we think maybe attacked the colony. And uh, I, can't, I honestly can't remember the name, but... They built these lasers and they somehow interfere with something. And so we destroy them and we get better travel options. Something like that. Um, I think that's all I can do because I can't get out of here. There's no there's no room. So let's head back. Um, but that's definitely a big one that we missed last time. Yeah, I, I, it's something like that, Miles Jacobs. Each pixel, I think it's each you know group of pixels, but yeah, that's the idea. And then they fly around like little, um, like little fireflies. It's, it's it's really pretty on my end, but it doesn't come across stream. The disturbing to your inner peace. Hmm. Don't know. Don't know about that, Joe. All right. So, for those of you who are new, these little devices that look like globes, and they're, these are actually seeds. So I, I, learned, I learned a few more things by reading journals. Um, in fact, we might want to go revisit them and take new screenshots. But anyway, these seeds carve out a sphere around them and transport, swap, it swaps spheres with another planet. I think we should just hop, let's hop up here. I don't, I don't know what else we want to do in that part. So, and while we're here, let's go read these journals again and get screenshots. It it should it should fix itself. It um, video encoding is kind of a crazy thing. Uh, th there's a lot of trade offs involved because I could make it really pretty. Basically, you could see what I'm seeing, but it would be really high bandwidth. Um, and, you know, not everybody has a nice connection. So, this is where we found the blue laser, and we destroyed all these technology things. 
Um, we don't really know exactly what's going on, but okay, it's the Mofang disabler to lay in technology. So it disables anything with Mofang technology. I think those are the supposed bad guys. Um, I'm just going to start taking screenshots like we did before. Um, so that's true, Risto. But the problem with that is if I screen, stream in a higher bit rate, um, then people who have low bandwidth can't watch. And my streams aren't always transcoded by Twitch because I'm not a partner. And if it's not transcoded by Twitch, then you have to watch it in source. And, um, and then people buffer and they complain. I can't make everybody happy, so I'm trying to find a good um, balance. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know. I'm a Twitch affiliate, which basically means I'm nobody. <laughs> um, yeah, partners are way cooler. Um, all right, so now that we kind of understand more, let's, let's read these again. So we can destroy anything made with Mofang technology. Um, okay, got that. Um, now, I, so I, I read these before, and so I kind of have an idea. Um, I think that the thing about this is, these are kind of things that we're trying to undo. So, you know, lift minecart in a workroom, we need to lower the minecart from workroom. Turn on more rang disabler, we need to turn off more rang, mofang disabler. This, this kind of stuff. So, these are things we're trying to undo. I'm a Twitch acquaintance, yeah. Well, I, that Risto, that's awesome. I mean, that's way more than I have. But um, I, I have friends who who don't, and um, when they stream, when they stream, when they watch the stream, it buffers. And so I've been trying to lower the bandwidth. I'd love if Twitch just transcoded everybody's videos, but it's not uh, that easy. All right, so enough about that. Um, all right, we've, we've handled this. We don't need to take a screenshot of this. All right, this is kind of the stationary one. And... Um, not sure if there's anything we can do with it. Oops, let's take a look over here. All right, so I'm just going to screenshot for later. OK. So if. <laughs> Uh, it's really complicated, and there's so much, there's so many pieces, and everybody knows a piece of it. Um, so, Pale, the, the reason, okay, so if, if there's an option right now to change it to 480p, that's because I'm lucky. Um, Twitch does not guarantee that they offer those options. So, if I stream tomorrow, those options might not be there. If they're there now, it's it's just because we, we were graced by the Twitch gods. Um, the only people guaranteed to have those options are partners, and I'm not a partner. So I have to act as if they're not going to be there, because often they're not. Um, all right. We know what this is now. So this is called the Ambassador Seed. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's move away from... Uh, encoding stuff unless unless you know you have uh, I have to get something like 75 concurrent viewers on average yeah auto is going to be probably your best bet okay sure 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 forget all that stuff all that stuff is uh, irrelevant if the stream looks bad you know Give me feedback, but uh, but otherwise let's let's forget all this stuff because that's just as, that's way more complicated than this. Let's focus on this. All right, so this thing is called the ambassador seed, and and now we've used it 
I thought this was some kind of puzzle we had to put a seed or something, but but we know what it is now. It just they, these things exist. Um, when we open it, it shows the radius. I think this is just flavor text. Radius demarcation occurs at the same location at destination sphere. Oh shit! What if that's a thing? What if we, what if we open one of them? I don't actually. I don't know why we'd ever do that, but presumably we could pull the lever on one of them and then run around to another machine, teleport to the other planet, and then that um, sphere would be open. <laughs> I, I I meant to say I meant to say the other way around. I meant to say this is more complicated. I, I and and certainly the coding stuff encoding is less interesting. Anyway, all right, that's something. Um, now this is just basically a list of things. Those um, they were like uh, video projectors and. My guess is that we have to destroy them, and, and I think even more strongly that's the case now, because we know that they're made by the Mofangs, who are probably the enemies. So we've destroyed all, but I think the tree? No idea what this is for. This is just a hammer. I think this is just to make people who have VR happy. And they go, oh, it looks like a hammer. But I'm not really sure. Um, all right, good deal. So let's, um, oh, let's, let's take another look at this too. I'm not really sure what this is, but it, it has to do with the power, some power stuff. Um, Screenshot. Um, don't reverse plug polarity. I would guess these are dates. And we can unlock this. And that's pretty much all I seem to be able to do. And then put it back. Uh, and I don't remember what it was by, uh, when we started, but that's a thing. An ambassador is someone who works in embassy. Yeah, I feel like an ambassador is someone who represents another country. Uh, so they're like in a foreign country and they represent another country. That's an ambassador. Oh, it looks like this was meant to be a, a shell for this, but there's no shell. That's pretty cool. Man, I tell you, the, the freaking... Um, the, the visual design on this game just never ceases to amaze me. It's so cool. And, and to think... Like, this is completely irrelevant to the game. Well, as far as I know. And... Um, and they thought to put this in, like, oh yeah, we're just about to put the cover on, but we didn't have time. Harbinger? Harbinger, I feel like, is associated with someone who brings bad news. Harbinger of doom, harbinger of destruction. Yeah, and so an emissary, I think, is sent, I feel like, is sent to another country to deliver a message or something. A diplomat negotiates, and an ambassador represents. That's my lay understanding. Probably shouldn't listen to me. Let's talk to CW. I haven't spoke to him in a while.
Where is the battery? He keeps talking about this battery. But I think I missed the first conversation where he told me where it was. I mean, I forgot it. Some people call it missed, but I call it forgot. Yeah, Pale, Pale seems to speak uh, English quite well. Okay. All right, let's destroy the last Mofang thingy mabob. Which. I think it's up here. So we can probably reach it from over here. I guess we have to go through to get around. Spelling? Forget spelling. Spelling is uh, ridiculous. Alright, so we'll turn this. Come here, you. And uh, let's blast this thing. I, I have no idea if we're supposed to do this, but it makes some sense. Can I reach it? I can see it. If I can see it, I can reach it. I think I got it. Did I get it? Familiar with magic, tabletop, pen, and paper. The rule we use are in English. Yeah. Yeah. It's probably movies and stuff too that you. Um, so we got it. I don't know if that matters, but we did it. Yeah, eyes and ice. Eyes is with a z, 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 um, voiced. And ice is not voiced. <clears throat> All right, so then we had the tree, and we uh, gave it water, and it freaked out. Um, then there's a bunch of doors that we couldn't go through. Um, hmm. I guess you could have gotten in here first. Um, so I, I, I read a little bit more about from this book. Um, I'm definitely going to take screenshots, but he's, he's basically saying 
if there's something going on, they think the Mofang are going to attack or something like that, and then um, they think they have a way to fight to send this this attack back into the Mofang, something like that. I think that's the main idea. Um, and somebody was sent off. Uh, I can't remember the name. Shavar. Shavar was sent off to see if they could fix something, and then they didn't come back. So, we don't, also don't know what chambered means, but it's probably some kind of like, you know, isolation, I mean, um, pr preservation something. Random German word of the day. Scheiße. That's my favorite. Okay, all right, and this thing makes a whole lot more sense now. So we we were like, what is the sphere doing? And how we can rotate the sphere, but then we can't seem to it doesn't seem to do anything. But basically this sphere belongs in another world. And I bet we can we rotate it here and we send it to another world and then go up the ladder. But what I don't get is how do we do that when there's no ambassador seed? Um, either we're going to have to be able to move Ambassador Seeds, or maybe it's on top, or God only knows. Okay, so I'm just kind of, I'm walking around to refamiliarize myself, because there's a lot of things that I think we need to look at again with fresh eyes. Now that we under, with fresh ice, fresh eyes. Now that we understand a little bit better about how this world works. Um, so let's head up to this battery place, too. Well, I don't know if it's batteries. Maybe that's the battery that he's talking about. And we need to get over there. Somehow. But, um, okay, so we can go up here. Do, 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 do. And let's head up here. We, we could have we could have done this from inside. I, I should have done that. So this is the tower, I believe. What they call the tower. And up here there's something... I, I don't know, it's something from each planet? Oh, but Hunrath... Oh, Hunrath's powered now. So this is this is the tree. Okay, so this probably represents which trees we've powered up. See, I, I, I knew that things would look different. I mean, if we go back. Okay, I had no idea, but... Um, it does make sense to check stuff out. Yeah, I don't know what the point of this is, other than informational. We can't seem to interact with it. Um, Alright, here's my totally off-the-cuff prediction. Um, obviously you guys are not allowed to tell me whether this is correct or anything. But I bet we're going to charge these up and CW is going to be a bad guy, and he's going to use it to, like, blow up everything. That's my guess. Yeah, that's... I don't think that's um, a useful word. 
simply because it's just too big. We've got a. There's no way we're going to remember a big word, pal. Give us a give us a bite sized word. Um. I don't remember where the, where this goes. Let's let's push this again. Okay. I'm kind of curious if we can see where that red cable goes to maybe help figure out what it does. So where's the tower? How come I can't see it? Oh, you just copied us. Just added ish at the end. Uh, don't know. Okay. All right. There's a, there's there's a, another thing I wanted to take a look at. Um, I think I figured out what this is. They called it the something sparker or something i don't know it was the electrical thing that they said don't go swimming when it's turned on um but i still don't really see oh there's a there's a red cable oh shit look what it connects to uh okay so that's probably going to turn on the this thing um okay it's not doesn't seem super useful In, in. Uh, Polish, pot, pochka, what is that? Is that is that how you say it? Pochka, pochka. That's that's the only Polish I know. Pochka, pochki. I don't. I'm not even sure. Um, oops. Eh. Come here. Oh, I'm in it. Uh, <laughs> I get it now. All right, I kind of want to look around to figure out if we can, oh, look at that, um, if we can get to the, across the riverbank, but I think I want to explore the other planet more than I want to explore this one. So let's head off to see what we can do now that that red laser is destroyed. So here's what I was saying. Oh, never mind. It closes back up. Well, why are there two steps? It seems strange that there's two steps to this.
unless they just didn't want people to accidentally take the transition just because it takes so long. Oh yeah, I, I know what they are. I know what they are. I, I'm not exactly sure how to say them. Ponchki, I think is something close, but Um, all right, this is perfect. So this goes back up to the, uh, machinery stuff, but instead I'm going to go this way because now we've destroyed the laser. We should be able to walk through the walls. I don't, I don't know how to turn this, but whatever. Yeah, just as long as they don't have rows in them. I, rows is the most disgusting thing that anyone has ever decided to put in their mouth. Why would you eat a flower? It's it's atrocious. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha! You ready? Uh... Oh man, that's subtle. Okay. Alright, so this is a new area for us. We haven't been here. Um, got, I, got, I gotta say, I love new areas, because it means anything could happen. But I guess we have to get this bridge going. Um, this gondola. Oh yeah. Oh, we're gonna ride a gondola, baby. Just get in. Is this just one way? You can't you can't recall it or Oh shit. Just ride in in a gondola above an alien planet. There's a place from the green spot. Oh I wanna go to the green place. That's a whole new world. Okay. No idea what, what we're doing, but um, first time, first time we've been here. I'm really. I'm kind of sad that there's no way to recall this thing. So, like, if it were on the other side, we wouldn't be able to pull it over here. As far as I can tell. But, okay. been here. This is just the first part. Japanese red bean desserts. I actually kind of like red bean desserts, but... Or red bean buns, the Chinese red bean buns. I kind of like those a lot. Um, all right, I'm super sad. We did the coolest thing we could possibly do, and it brought us back to to this place. Now, I mean, that gives us it gives us another, you know, way to move around. But it didn't open up anything. Um, I'm going to look through it again and see if maybe I missed something. As long as you don't pretend it's dessert. Yeah, I think that that's the attitude that you have to have. If you're expecting chocolate, you're going to be disappointed. Um, 
I really want to get over there. That looks like a playground to me. At some point, we should probably figure out which planet is, is which. Um, I think there's some notes in Farley's house that should tell us. All right, I'm, I'm going to go back over, see maybe there's something I missed over there. Oh, it doesn't let me move. Oops. Took an took a in-game screenshot. So, there's a, a green sphere. I don't know if there's an ambassador seed in it, but maybe. What a cool idea for a game. There's this really weird, uh, what, what is it? Iranian dessert made out of uh, pine sap? And it tastes like pine trees. It tastes like turpentine. I don't... People are so weird. Why would you eat that when you could have chocolate? Like, what's wrong with people? We've seen... We've seen this before. But I don't know if that's going to matter. I can't, okay, I literally cannot do anything up here. So let's head the down. Can't go there. Um, can't walk up here. Okay, gotta come, gotta go down. Um, this is, I think, where we came in. Yeah. Uh, this is nothing. We've looked at this, right? So I think what we've found, what we've discovered, is simply a way to cross... the map without rotating the bridge or some, something like that. So instead of going back through the thing, I'm going to do this one more time and we'll come up the other side because that'll keep, keep it rotated. Um, All right, really, it's giving my mouse arm a workout turning those levers. God, what a cool game. So these look like scales to me. I wonder if this is the lizard people. Or that is that too obvious? Maybe that's too obvious. Anything with custard? Custard's pretty good. Although I'm not a big fan of that uh, creme brulee. That just seems like. I don't know. Wasted effort. So this is the thing that we destroyed. It's it's pretty broken. Um, we're definitely going to want to be on the lookout for ways to pass through that edge of the of the big spear because that would be a new a new way to move. So let's take this staircase and see if there's maybe something down here. Oops. Pasta? 
for dessert? You guys are... You guys are... You guys have lost your minds. Pasta's not dessert. Also, nuts aren't dessert. Let's just get that straight. A lot of Europeans seem to think that nuts are dessert or cheese is dessert. No. Listen. No. It's not dessert. Trust me. New staircase? Those drums are freaking me out. So I think what happened is this bottom chain held something. Yes, 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 yes. You can see it. You can see it. So it's that big bell jar thing. So this bottom. Okay, we did something without actually meaning to. Um, this bottom chain held something that was blocking the way, and we moved it by taking the bridge across. Ooh, that's tricky. So this is a new area. This is the other side. This is, oh my god, I'm so excited. This is the new, this is the, yeah, 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 yeah. This, so we saw this from up here. This is the other side, and the freaking drums. Do you hear those drums? Tell me the, tell me, is the volume good? This should be a little bit loud. Oh my god. Good, good, good. Oh, that's something. That looks like a... Um... It looks like a, a ambassador seat. I'm so I'm so excited. I'm kind of scared someone's going to jump out. Oh, there's the green sphere. Had you, had you seen this, Pale? You knew what we had to do? All right, Joey, see you later. The fuck was this? I don't see a C. Too hungry to be charmed. Oh, so you had seen it today then? You didn't know last game, did you? What? Now that's so pretty. Having the um, mechanical stuff interact with the bones. I think the problem is I'm not looking at it like a puzzle. I'm looking at it like just this is really pretty. Is there maybe a teleporter in it? 
or no, those are those are those um, barnacles. Okay. Oh God, what in the world are we getting ourselves into? Also, what are these purple things? I, I guess up until now, I thought these purple things were flower petals. But I just realized that maybe they're scales. Well, I guess we have to go through. Okay, that's not disorienting. Yeah, I'm I'm impressed by the story. I, I mean, not the story like uh like if I read it in a book, it probably wouldn't be that impressive. But the details and the the feeling and the flavor and uncovering it. Okay, there's a there's a spear there. Um I feel like we've seen this from another perspective, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, so that's um that's the area we just were where I was complaining. Oh, we've been here before. And that's the tree. So this is, I, I don't know, I've probably called this maybe the courtyard if we come back to it. So. I don't, I don't see a teleporter in the, in the blue sphere. Hey dog, how's it going? What the hell is this? Oh shit, they were scales. Called it! I mean, it... It took me like seven hours, but... What the fuck is this? Is it an ambassador seed? It looks like this might go to another planet. Yeah? I... I'm gonna... I'm gonna come back to it. I'm gonna explore the staircase and then I'll come back to it. I, I think maybe it's an ambassador seed. I'm already pretty discombobulated. So I feel like teleporting again would be a bad idea. Oh dear god, these staircases are just as bad as teleporting. Another one. Not only another one, but there's also a... Uh... Oh no, there's not. All right, let's let's do this one. Um, so what if each maybe each alien has their own way of 
using the ambassador seeds, and so the shell is, looks different. That's my guess. <clears throat> That's my guess. Oh, God. Um, I think if there if there's any complaints that I have about this game, I usually have a lot of complaints for games. But my only complaints for this game is that they would speed up loading and the menus. And uh, fix that screenshot bug. Where are we? Are we back in the first world? this <laughs> there was a door the whole time okay we've been okay oh my god all right this is the back of um farley's house and we've been through here like 10 times there this door covers a freaking path you knew about this pale how the hell how do you see all this stuff? Okay, all right. You're starting to you're starting to scare me, pal. Starting to think you're uh, some kind of superhuman. What the? Okay, so there must be somebody who makes paintings because we saw the easel on the on the lake. Um, I, so. I played Mist, but I, I think I wound up stopping when I got to the the maze, the 3D maze. And I'm pretty sure I played Riven. Actually, let me let me do a quick check. Um, I played as many as I could get. Uh, and I think I... I th uh, Maybe I didn't play Ribbon. I take it back. Maybe I haven't played Ribbon. All right, screenshot. Ribbon has puzzle sandwich to this. Takes about three to five days for a single RI larva to change colors. Oh my god, are these going to be puzzle pieces? Or is he just using them to get pigment? No idea what that's about, but I can imagine color puzzles. I don't know. I feel like that's awkwardly out of place for the style of this game. This looks like somebody's um, um, deviant art page. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So, all I can do is open it. Uh, 
Is this just a little joke? No puzzle, no, no spoilers, Miles. <clears throat> Unless you're talking about the painting, I thought you're talking about this. I thought you were talking about the Miss book. Um, people got to put their own art in the game. Is that what it is? Gotcha. It says back a reward. Off. But I still see deviant art. Oh well, never mind. Let's let's not worry about it. Oh, I thought I thought when it said back a reward display, it would hide back a rewards if it was off. But that's not uh, that's not what that means. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, do I want that? Because I honestly, I thought this mist thing was a was a puzzle. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it off. I'd I'd rather have the ambigu ambig ambiguity. <clears throat> Cerberus by B.S. Wolf. the impression this room is just a, a VR reward. Okay. JM All right, Th this seems relevant. Double A. So he's saying that they see Mofang scrambling around in the distance outside of the dome.
interesting. So inside the dome, when you pass from a wall, you go to the opposite wall. But outside, it's, it's kind of the same way. You just don't see the dome. That's pretty, that's pretty interesting. Um, I honestly can't remember if I... Screenshot, screenshot. So the, so the abductions are saving people. Like, uh, C, CW was about to be hanged. Yeah, it seems like there's only a few relevant details in each book, which I think is fine. It's just... <clears throat> Time is shuffled. Um... I'm getting the impressions. At first, I thought these were years. I think these are supposed to be days or, or, or weeks, and it's probably like after Hunrath. Like, maybe the first person comes or something. Um, because the town, I, I noticed that the there was a mayor before Hunrath, or before whatever, and he was probably just the mayor of the little town, the actual town, on Earth. All right, so the R.I., I think, are the Barnacle people. Oh, dear. All right. Gardens. Gardens fighting. After giving up, the garden flourished. I, I think it's saying that by putting all these different species together, they'll somehow be saved from something. Jesus, this is this is a long diary. Okay, here we go. So CW has this battery plan, and I bet this is kind of the thing that I was positing, which is CW is going to do something rash. He's trying to blow something up or something. Oh God, there is more. That's just, that's just philosophy. <sighs> Not really sure we learned very much, but maybe. This room seems like a waste of time. So in terms of a puzzle, what I got out of this room is maybe there's something to, colors to do with the barnacles. Uh, based on time, but I, I don't know. Alright, so... I think that's it, right? We explore this little room.
and if we go back out we're here now the question is should we travel back this way or should we um, travel back the other way I think I'm going to travel back the other way. So I guess we couldn't have gotten here, even if we had found this, because uh, it had the other planet's sphere. So like if we had noticed this room, it would have just been a, a corridor that leads in a, leads to a wall. Um, since we're in here, I'm going to screenshot some stuff. I guess this is the planet that we're on, and the Mofang are the natural residents of this planet. That's my guess. Um, I think these told us something. Jesus Christ, that's impossible to read. Yeah, fuck that. I can't read it. Um... Hey, Joey, not really. You, in fact, you left at the best part. That was, um, that was, uh, flavor, as far as I can tell. Um, okay, so how should we head back? Let's, let's head back using the, uh, above the garage. I, I, I feel like that's the first part of the game that I'm a little bit disappointed in. I feel like they just stuffed a bunch of stuff in a hole and none of it mattered. Um, whereas before, I felt like I was um, organically uncovering details. Um... So now everything has power. Good. I wonder if we just missed this button the first time. Or maybe we didn't even get here before we had the chance. Alright, so we're going to teleport back. Now this is going to be... It's going to rearrange this bit again, but it's. I think this is how we first did it. Or how it first was, so... I think it'll be fine. Like, it's, it's reachable. Yeah, see, it just, uh, just this out of place sphere. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is retrace our steps and then try that first machine. The, the one that looked like a torture device. But I think, I think I'll walk this way.
Okay. So we should be able to see where we were from the other side. Still don't know what to, what the deal with these spheres uh, that don't have ambassador seats is. Um, this game doesn't have any sort of inventory, so it's not like we can bring one there. Um, like the sort of machinations that had to go on to get the cart to move. It had to be a cart that we drove. Um, all right, so we we go down the ramp. Uh, and, and we're not going to be driving barnacles, I guess. Maybe there'll be a wheelbarrow. And I think I think this is the direction we went. We came over here. Okay, and then we went up the staircase that's now available. Now there's, honestly, there's probably stuff around here we didn't uncover. Um, like that room. But let's, let's not get distracted. More, more than we already are. So I'm pretty sure it's this way. So we're going to have to come back for both of these. Okay, well... Clearly, I was wrong. I love that this room has its own theme. Oh, look. That one hatched. Oh, there's the tree. Okay. Oh God. All right. I'm I'm getting I'm getting sidetracked, but uh, but I do want to get to the tree. All right. Here's the staircase. I guess if we can't go right, let's go forward. I I must have forgotten. If there's a jump scare, I, this seems like the kind of game that's not going to do a jump scare, but I, I, who knows? I guess it's possible. Oh, we went through here. Okay. We went through here. So this is, this is the left to the left. Okay, through the bones. Oh, that's right. Yeah, when we went through the teleporter for the first time, um, it, it was pretty startling for me. Oh yeah. <laughs> like her, it's a dead end. Um Okay. All 
All right. So now we're back across from the courtyard. Uh, try try not to reveal anything that I might not want to know, Miles. Like, even telling us that the developers are mean, I feel like is a small spoiler. I I understand that may seem pedantic or exacting. All right, I think we I think we go to a new planet now. So maybe each planet has their own technology looking thing. No worries, just uh it, it's it's one of these things where even a really small thing might change the way that I behave and and I kind of just want to let the game kick my ass, you know. Okay, so we're in a jungle planet with another red laser. Hey, oh. Oh, I see, okay, it's just a smaller one. So, Wait, did I just do something? So what I whatever I put in here affects this door. Yeah, Joey, I think this is the same thing. It's just um, a smaller grid. Um, all right, I need to take a quick uh, a quick break. I'm gonna be back in less than two minutes. So see you soon. Okay, so I, I'm back. Got some some more tea, and uh, chat has exploded. This is this is a tragedy. Jesus Christ! How is Super Meat Boy in Twitch chat? <clears throat> okay. All right. So good news. Everybody, we uh, we didn't waste your time by learning. V v what is it, Valerian? No, v v something. I can't even remember now. Uh, I can't remember the name of the the people, but Pale span emojis. Yeah, yeah, I mean, you know. You know, I... Yeah, there we go, see? Got a kitty cat. Oh, speaking of which, let me see if the sub... The sub emote is, is, has been approved. Um, just 
kind of curious. Do, 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 do. One second. Do, do, do. It has not been approved. But I think it's it's going to be um, just the little just the little icon. Um, probably with Easter holiday or something, there's been a bunch of people and they have to go through and approve everybody. This one reminds me of Mist. So what I see is a door and a map. And if I do stuff, it puts a puts a block up. Wait, what? So there's different kinds of doors based on what number we put in. Ugh. I I feel like we don't want to close doors, so let's leave the doors open. Um, let's see if we can get over here. Okay, this is all. Uh, this is the only place we can go to. So I guess we're just supposed to come here to to do something, and then we have to go back to, to figure out how to get through here. But I don't know how to get through here, or even get here. Um, but I think that's all we can do. So once we get down there, probably we can figure out better what we should set this to. Um, I'm going to screenshot this just to remind us. And I, I think we head back. So at this point, we can try to look to get to the tree. Um, may, maybe there's other places that we can get to from the courtyard. So we, let's see, is it this way? Which way? Shit. Let's just, um, let's see what the, the place that took us to, oh, I'm, I'm terrible with names. And, and there aren't even people in this thing, but just names. Um, the place that took us to Farley's house We've swapped with what belongs here. So I want to see what that looks like on this side. Um, but I don't remember which direction we were traveling. But we'll figure it out. I think this was it. So it doesn't matter which sphere. I guess it could it could conceivably matter on the other side. 
So I guess it's worth checking out, even though this takes like eight minutes. Just to um, just to reduce the state space. I like to think that those emotes tell a story. I don't know what story, but cats and bananas and So Joey, this is the room you missed in case you were a little bit curious, but um, it's wholly irrelevant which uh, sphere we have, so uh, other than this blocks the way. So let's go back. I don't know. I mean, is is that is that even what's taking the time? Is it what's loading from disk? All right. So we we'll never have to come back here, as far as I can tell. I wonder. I wonder how this kind of game would change if you could actually drop. A, uh, like a breadcrumb, like a little marker that says no need to, because um, in Minecraft, for example, which I know might be a funny comparison, but in Minecraft I might put like a, like, um, I might build a wall here just to basically tell me I've already explored this path, don't need to come back, or like a redstone torch to tell me, you know, follow the left wall to get out, stuff like that. Um, I wonder if that would make this, these kinds of games too easy. Boy, that's, that's neat looking. All right, so we went down. Is this where we came from? We haven't seen this. I think we haven't seen this. So... So this is the other gondola, I think, that connects to the big the tech area. It'd be a danger to block up an area by accident. Well, it wouldn't, it wouldn't be permanent. It would just be um, an indication that would say you know, I think I've checked everything over here. Basically, like games where you can tag the mini-map with me messages. Something like that. But when you don't have a mini-map, it would have to be a visual indicator, like a flag or, you know, something something in the game. Like if I could put a flag here that would color, you know, black and say, tell me, um, I've checked this way. Looks like I can't do anything. Just making a hundred, uh, ninety-nine percent sure. Let's take the gondola. What do we got? So there's the spinny bridge thing. Uh, I think that's the courtyard. That's the one that's fallen. I I see. So because because there's two gondolas, the idea is that you can get back and forth, but I guess they don't work. Um. 
Yeah. As long as it fit within the atmosphere, yeah. It, it probably wouldn't fit within the atmosphere of this game, but, uh... I do like the idea. Yeah, a little cairn. What the hell is this? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Shortcut, shortcut. I guess the fact that these two are symmetrical could almost let you know if you got really stuck but you were really thoughtful, you could say, oh, there's a hidden staircase because this one has a staircase. Wait, where's the... Where's the Russian thing? the Russian machine was like right here. Oh, I'm so confused now. Because I recognize this, or at least I feel like I do. We turned on that great contraption. We went this way and, and eventually went down that little bell jar to the to the start. Yeah, there was this machine that had Russian um, Cyrillic markings. I, I assume it's Russian. I have no idea. But it was in Cyrillic. Is this a bog or a feature? I'm, I must be mistaken. Unless we swapped... I think that's the machine. Right there. Maybe. Here's the machine. It's attached... to this thing. It, is it a counterweight? Is the joke that this complicated contraption is only used as a weight? That would be funny. Well, it might not necessarily be Russian. Cyrillic is just an alphabet. I mean, unless you can read Russian, Joey. Um, okay. Well, I still want to go back to the sub, because I feel like the sub has something that explains this. Oh, you thought it, you thought it glitched up. I see. Yeah, it, it could just be a counterweight, but I don't, I don't know. And I certainly don't want any of you to tell me. Um, alright, so let's just backtrack here to make sure we can get our bearings. So... Came in the gondola, do to do, takes a little stroll, just a cool little stroll on a foreign planet. Shortcut open. Okay. Now we haven't been here. This is a this bathosphere kind of thing. You don't know Russian, Joey? I'm so disappointed. How how can you not know Russian? Everybody learns Russian in the third grade. Um, all true Americans know Russian.
I'm I'm a little bit uh, intimidated. Whoa. I think I see a. Oh God! How many of these things are there? So this looks like it goes back to the first planet. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, hello. No, I can't want to open a shortcut. How do you? It's it's a door. How do you open? I thought this was the door that we saw earlier. Looks like there's a bunch of bugs in there. I, I guess this is not a door we've seen before. I just tried sliding it instead of clicking. Okay. Okay. I have a feeling I know where this goes. I'm going to bet 80 ruples that this is going to go to the um, the platform that spins just outside the woods on the first planet because we need to get access to this so we'll have to spin it until it's lined up and um, same same for that. All right, let's uh, test our hypothesis. What's a ripple? <laughs> it's a it's a unit of currency. Also, not not one that I possess any of. Success. Prediction correct. Um, you all owe me 80 ruples. Please pay up or get out of stream. So, is this any good for us? Like on this side, maybe? Is there something under underneath? Why did they make a sphere out of wood? They're clearly experimenting with this technology themselves. The uh, the earth earthgens. Oh, I can never see how to get out of that. Okay. I have to admit, I don't know how to turn it. Yay! Thanks, Joey. That's uh, I'm actually surprised that ripples were um, worth that much. So this is horrible, but I'm going to turn it once and then hop back through. I think there's only three positions. Okay, so I'm trying to I'm trying to put words to my thoughts, but I'm just thinking if we go back through 
we'll only be able to go up this this uh, this ramp. But maybe if we put the original architecture back, we can go up both. Whether that's important, I don't know. Um, so I'm going to do the simple thing and just go back and see what that looks like. Um, but if we want to, what we can do is we can go up on the hill, we can hop back over, we can walk around, and then we'll have the original architecture there. Um, and then that's probably what we're going to have to do. That's my guess. I hope they make us do it, but we'll see. Let's see how quick this is. <clears throat> but uh, thank you, thank you for the the bits. Um, it's something about betting. I feel like it's a really good way to to communicate how confident you are about something. Like if someone says, you know, I bet you a hundred, I'd bet a hundred dollars, they're probably pretty confident. Um, let's. <clears throat> so this is never going to be useful on this side. Oops. So I'm gonna just go ahead and do it. I'm gonna go ahead, forget this. If if we if we mess it up, then bad intuition. Uh, shame on the streamer. But I'm gonna go ahead and, and go back to the uh, to the correct side. Hopefully we can still get in it. We might not get be able to get in it, but you know what? We'll find out. Robin Hansen did a lot with the betting idea. Oh yeah, I haven't heard of it. Um, when I was when I was working, I would bet people. You know, I bet it's I bet the bug is caused by this. I bet uh, the data is going to show so and so. Um, mostly quarters. Prediction markets? Oh, yeah, prediction markets, sure. Um, I guess I was thinking simpler. All right, so we have to find our way back, which isn't hard, I don't think. So, okay. We can take the bathysphere thing. I I feel like this is what I was. This is what I want them to want us to do. But if I were to bet, we're not going to be able to make it into the room. And I, I don't know. I have to look. Easy peasy, hop up here.
Uh... I feel like... So I think this is where we were. So it could be that when we replaced it, it's blocking access, but I... Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the bathysphere. Okay, this was the elevator. Okay. So that means that they don't want you to actually do what I'm doing, which is exactly the opposite of what I wanted them to want us to do. Because we cannot recall the bathysphere. There's no, there's no button to bring it back. Um, you have no bits? You don't need bits. You can just uh, enjoy, or try try to enjoy, watching me fail to solve puzzles. Um, I think I would be remiss in not mentioning, though, that uh, Amazon Prime does give free subs once a month. All right, we have to we have to go down and go all the way back. Which I think is over here. Doesn't look right. This is not right. Yeah, it would be. It almost makes sense. It would almost be better if they just gave bits instead of subs, because then. You could use them on multiple people. I think that that would be a good idea. Crap, where? I feel like I remember taking the shortcut. tell you this game can can be a little confusing um, I don't think I don't think that's a problem so I could get back around here but I don't want to I want to find the bathysphere how hard can it be? It's got to be over here somewhere. We just took it up. I don't I don't really see it. It's got four thin chains, I think. And it's not here. Okay, it must be on the other side. I just don't, I don't see it. See, I could have sworn that we took the shortcut. 
Oh, maybe we did. No, we did. This is it. This is it. Okay, I couldn't see it because it was not visible. Alright. So, we're going to head back. We're going to try to do the obvious thing instead of the cute, smart thing, in my opinion. And see if that's what they want us to do. Um, but it's totally possible that we missed the entrance to the place. And, uh, and we have to come back and do this again. But uh, who knows? Who knows? Problem solving often involves going down a branch and deciding to explore another branch. Not necessarily discarding anything, just exploring a different space. I just had a horrible idea. What if the goal of the game, or a goal of the game, is to put all the spheres back where they belong? Um, one by one. Mm, that sounds terrible. All right. So we spin this again. There could be more than three settings. It, it could be six, maybe. Always, always take the long way around. That way, um, your enemies will be confused. Wait a second. So, this sphere uh, replaces the, the thing that was here before which didn't which didn't have an ambassador seed how do these things even rotate god there's so much to keep in track of um I feel like it rotates counterclockwise. I'm pretty sure this uh, went right. So, so, so the places where there are no ambassador seeds, maybe we're supposed to find it from the other side first and then come over. But why aren't there two? I thought there had to be two. I'm pretty sure the notes said that.
All right, the way I'm going to look at this is the stairs are pointing whatever, let's say north. And um, at 3 and 6 o'clock, I guess I'm mixing metaphors. The stairs are pointing at 12 o'clock. At 3 and 6 o'clock are doors. Um, we must have... I don't remember how we got here, and now I'm really frustrated because I feel like some it was closed up, but I don't remember taking a teleporter. <laughs> I I'm really confused, but this is how we got into the room originally, I think. You know, and then it was this was. Um, this was in that direction. At any rate, I think I need to rotate it twice more to get to a door. Uh, now, which door? I don't know. Okay. All right, here, here's what I'm going to do. Screenshot just because I'm probably going to forget, but we've got uh, 12, 3, and 6, uh, 9. And then this is the entrance, so the entrance is at 3 as well, just on the bottom. There's something down there. I feel like maybe there's something down there too. I, I'm not entirely sure, but I think there might be something down there. So there, there could be something also in the bottom. I'm just going to write it down. So and then we're, we're going to reorient um, our 12, 3, and, and 9 when we get back to the, to the planet. I think this is going to help. So at st stairs, there's a there's a low um, on the east. There's a high and a low. Um, on the west, there's a high. And then, as far as we know, there's nothing over here. But I. Yeah, who knows? Probably not. Maybe not. Don't say anything. All right, so that's um, that's the stair. And uh, so now we'll go back and we'll orient what the direction of the stairs with uh, some some feature of the first plan. I think this will it, it let us decide instead of just trial and error. You had money or old applicants. Guess who has more gambling bits? Didn't realize. <laughs> um, I do not condone gambling in any form. Please be responsible. Drink uh, responsibly. And pay your taxes. Um, okay. So what we were calling, let's say, 12 o'clock, is this direction. So that's the, um, the, let's call it the junkyard or something. <clears throat> so junkyard, and then this, the, the opposite of that, the opposite of junkyard-ish, 
is towerish, which honestly is a much better north. Um, okay. So then let's try some. Let's try something. So this is this is uh, the, the linchpin of science is we have a theory now. We have a system and a theory and we can make a prediction. And I'm going to make a prediction and we're going to see if it's true. And if it's true, the theory is still plausible. If it's false, well, the theory's broken. Not getting any actual money to have to twitch. Makes sense to me. All right. So So let's start by getting to the upper level, hopefully one that we haven't been to. Um, I'm just going to redraw this to make it the, where the tower is in the north. I, I should be using a drawing program. And, um, but I'm, I'm not going to do it right now so that you could see it. So the theory says that if I line up, I can't even see the stairs from down here. If I line up the stairs, <laughs> oh god, I can't see it from the bottom. Um, I wish they stuck out just a little bit so I could see them. But these are these are uh, junkyard word right now. Um, Okay. Um, and then we think that there's a low entrance, so we could we could do that one. It looks like that's actually the easiest one to check. Let's so let's check that one. So we'll spin it so that the low point. Um, I mean, let me paint these or something. But all right, the, the low points over there. I thought it spun the other way. But so maybe there's four settings? I, I, I it's so hard to see from the bottom that I don't know exactly what's happening. Um No, I think there's six, which is weird because I don't think they're all used.
Maybe there's four. At any rate, well, it's not at any rate. We have to we have to check. I think this might lead to something up high. The problem is I can't tell whether there's uh, four positions or, or six positions. Or I don't think there's eight, but I guess there could be. Uh, I guess there's six. So, so these actually aren't, oh my god, this is so hard to figure out because I don't have like a good perspective. I think I think these are across from one another, but I can't actually tell that. Okay. It does seem like there's a low a low part down there. All right, I think the drawing is correct, but I think there's six positions. So let's go back. So, all right, if there's six of these, my guess is that this red piece here is going to be about here, right? It's going gonna, it's gonna to change um, one-sixth. Perfect. Okay. So I think we're going to be able to get into a, a thing. And there are definitely six positions. All right, so this is the other door, I think, that we um, we came upon this earlier and couldn't open it. Yeah. So now we now we've uh, opened up a shortcut. This game is crazy. So now that we have this shortcut, we can do what I wanted to do. Now, should we? I don't know. Um. I don't, I don't exactly know which rooms we've been to. I think there's one 
I mean, there is one here, which I think we went to, but I'm not entirely sure. There's one down here, which I have no idea if we've been to. Um, let's try it. So we'll rotate it twice. What did I call it? The, the the room out front? Now all I can think of is the lobby. Um, courtyard. Ooh, all right. So, I think... <clears throat> if I rotate it twice... So this should bring the low side per perfect. Um, I think we'll be able to get low now. Um. <clears throat> Bingo, bango. Okay, we haven't been here. <laughs> Boss fight? <laughs> it kind of feels like it, doesn't it? Oh shit, this is, so this is just under the, the sort of main room. We've seen this from above. Look, there's one of the aliens. Let's pick up his gun. We need a fighting chance. Yeah, I mean, here's the gun. Let's pick it up and go kill the bad guys. Um... Oh, we're missing a seed. Wait. We're too fat. Maybe. I think, so it's, it doesn't have a seed and it doesn't have a, a ghost switch, but it does have a, a weight, um, a scale. Too spoopy for me. <laughs> 
I love spippy. I think that's a great word. Oh, here we go. Um, please read thoroughly. We must have every detail in place. Our lives and our species depends on this being executed perfectly. Locations and times in this document are based on the information released by the Ruka and, the, and Chavar. Our lives depend on the actual information. CW is on Earth. So it's some, this is something to do with the chambering. Uh, I don't really see, but I took a screenshot. All right, I'm prediction on this one. This isn't going to be about numbers. Um, No idea. But I don't think it's meant to be read as a number. I think it's meant to be read as a series of one digit numbers. Um, well, that's actually all I can do in here. It's interesting. So there's a disk as if two of these things have, have uh, shifted, and I, it seems to have killed this fella. Um, all right, well, there's no clicky-clicky I can do, so let's head back. And I guess go fight the boss. Let's get the boss out of the way. seem to really like that thing in the middle, huh? For sure, we'd open up a shortcut. As far as I tell, we as far as I can tell, we can't do anything here. This is just like ha. Ah, look at where you are. You, you can't get here. Um, I, I guess that's the tree. I mean, I know that's the tree, but maybe the tree is what's got its roots in those um, eggs or something. Man, I can't do anything. This is ridiculous. What's the point? I could jump through there. I could totally jump through there. We, we just found out that this character only weighs 160 pounds. He could jump through that. Or she. Ugh. Yeah, exactly, Miles. That's that's what I'm saying. If I were a tree, where would I hide? This tree is really hard to get to. That much is for for sure. Um, all right, I'm going back down. I hate it, but I'm I'm going back down. There's nothing I can do. Don't think. Yeah, climb over the rock. Maybe he doesn't have legs. Do you ever think of that, Joey? Don't be so ableist.
Um, well, there's nothing I can do here, as far as I can tell. Look down at their legs. No legs. See, Joey? He doesn't have legs. Look at the assumptions you made. <laughs> um, there's actually options in the in the in the game for turning on self shadow. Oh, what's this? Big muscular arms. Oh, this is where we started. Huh. Damn it. So. So wait. All right, so that goes there. Seems to be nothing we can do here. What if we're an alien? Um, all right, I'm just gonna do this again because I saw that there were two options and I just wanna make sure I'm figuring out. I see, I see things correctly. Um, so that's the room. I think we haven't been here. Boo. Yeah. Eh. There's a sphere. Oh, it's this. Oh, God. Um... Okay. I know what I want to do now. I want to go back. We've got to go back. So, whoop. All right. Here is the strategy. We're going to do what we tried to do to begin with, except this time. I'm not going to get lost because we have a shortcut from the courtyard-ish area. So as long as we can get there, and honestly, I'm not sure we can, but I think we can. Um, then we can get in that room. Now the problem is, the first time through, it might not be lined up correctly. But we have a map, and we can we can line it up correctly and basically put it back. If you've ever seen Quantum Leap, we can put right what once went wrong. And once it's back in its original form, we can take all the paths we want, I guess. So that's the plan. So we're going to go back up here. Um, this is this is potentially a thing that's going to take a long time and if it doesn't work I mean I'm going to be sorry I'm going to apologize I'm going to feel bad um, but you'll get over it I haven't apologized yet. I just let you know that I will apologize. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
Boa, 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 boa. All right. Now I could take the bathysphere, but I don't trust myself. Um, I do trust this. Ah! Thanks for being willing to apologize. Yep, no problem, Dale. Always willing to apologize. Do, do, do. So we're going to walk, 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 and hopefully we can find that shortcut that we opened, the first one. Um, there's a lot of hopefullys here. So hopefully we can find the shortcut that I opened. And then after that, hopefully we can figure out the current orientation of the sphere. And then after that, hopefully we can go back, reorient it correctly, and then come back a final time. A lot of hopefullys here. So we want to get across to the Throne room. This is not the right way. I don't think. Okay. We have to go low. Good, good, good. Oh. Okay. There's, there's probably faster ways, but. Um, I think this way might work. Eventually, I'm sure I'll learn the map. Ah, oh, see? Easy peasy. Okay, now we want to go to the right. I think straight right. So here's the room with the scale. Boom. Those drums are so good. It's perfect. Perfect drums. Okay, this is this is fantastic for us because we can see the orientation of the staircase. So I'm gonna I can take notes. We can go back to the first planet, and then I rotate it so that this matches up, and then explosions of joy. Uh, but I have to take a quick break, and uh, when I get back, we will do what I said. So see you in a bit. Just, just a bit. Hello. All right, so this is kind of going to be annoying, but hopefully we'll only have to do it once.
So can we get in here? That would probably be bad because we wouldn't be able to get out. Um, you can't fall, so. What happened to the music? Oh, okay. So, the way that this sphere looks is actually just how you'd imagine, um, based on uh, how the holes in the wall look. So. Except for the one that has a high and a low. All right, but right now, right now, where we stand, we're on the, so if the tower is north, we're on the east side. So the tower is this way. Um, and across the hall, um, there's a high and a low entrance. And to the left, there's a, a low entrance. So we need to rotate this sphere. So uh, yeah, I, I, I don't want to know. But um, I wonder, too. I feel like I'm not very far, considering that there's four planets. And we've really only done stuff on two of them but you know you know how games are sometimes like the first little bit of the game takes the longest and then the last just goes really quick because they ran out of money or something um all right so let me let me get this straight so let's see so so we are standing on the east so the tower is that way. Okay. And these the sphere rotates counterclockwise. So we need to rotate this um, four four times, I think. Uh, I want, let me make sure I, I get this right, you know. So I want the uh, I want this this staircase face this direction the to the left so if I rotate this twice right it faces the right oh so it's not six it's it's um it's just eight so if I rotate it twice it goes to the right is that is that right Rotate it twice, it goes to the right. Rotate it two more times, it goes forward. Rotate it two more times. So I think I have to rotate it six times, but that's assuming that there's eight positions. Yeah, so if there's eight positions, you need to rotate it twice. I mean, um, six times.
But if there's six, um, then I'm not really sure. God, I'm so bad at geometry. Um, I want to do. Um, a three quarters this is gonna suck because I don't know whether it's six or eight <clears throat> I wish it had markings So it's either six or eight, <laughs> which if we rotate it six times and it's in exactly the same place, um, let's, I guess let's just do that. And then if that, if that does give us the same place, then we'll figure out uh, how many to rotate it to, to do a three, a three quarters turn. Okay. So, I just just to be like triple safe, I'll take a screenshot, and I think I have all the information in case I need to rethink this. All right, so now we have to go back. Okay, so first part, success. Second, that damn tree. Second part. Now here's here's where we're gonna see. I think okay. So logically, we have to rotate the. Green, the green sphere. Um, now, if I rotate the Earth sphere, it shouldn't have any effect on the green sphere. I would hope, because that just doesn't make any sense. If you spin the Earth sphere, they're not connected through some kind of magical connection. So I think I have to spin the, the green sphere. Which means I have to go get the green sphere into the first planet, spin it, and then walk back here and teleport it back. Because it doesn't have a... Um, an ambassador seed. Now that's kind of crazy, and I hope to God we have the uh, the right notes to figure this out. Um, there's also, just considering how ridiculous this puzzle is, there's got to be a simpler way to do it. But um, but this should work. Oh, so, hey, Joey, um, there's a thing on Twitch where, let me, let me, let me see if I can do it real quick. Um, I created a room. Uh, I created a room for the Twitch chat called Spoilers Here. And so you're welcome to ask or respond any spoilers you want in that chat because I won't see them. I don't know if, I mean, not 
you don't have to use it. I just thought I'd give you that option. So if you, you know, like if, um, I, I don't know, if, uh, if you or Pale want to say something, or, or if Miles knows how far I am, like he can say in that channel. <clears throat> Does that, uh, As far as I can tell, that's set up correctly, but I've never done it. So let me know if it doesn't work. All right. So, phase one complete. Phase two in progress. We're going to. We're going to travel back to the alien world. In a, in a way such that we can um, all right so I'm just going to write down the orientation of the the earth sphere and the green sphere. So the Earth sphere is like just just these two. The green sphere would have a, a ramp over here as well. Seems to work. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I don't think so. Just like say something in there, like just any sort of message, and then hopefully I don't I don't see it in my chat program. All right. So yeah. So what we want to do is we want to put the stairs on the right, and this is actually this will answer the the, the six or f whatever question. Um, how many rotations does that take? All right, cool. I don't see any of it. Beautiful. Um. <laughs> you two can have all sorts of secrets. All right, I have to have to remember these. So one rotation. We started at the we started with the ramp is at the tower. One rotation. All right, I think yeah. All right, I think there's six, and um, three quarters of six is four, which I was having trouble with before. Um. All right, so what we want to do is put the the ramp, which right now is, uh, let's say, south. Um, we want to put the ramp to the east. So two-ish. It's funny because my my I've been thinking of this as like being quadrants, but it's not. Uh, but I think that the logic still works. Yeah, so that's east-ish. So now when we take this, we're going to be able to leave, get the. Uh, 
take the shortcut through the thing, come back the exact same way we just did. I feel like, have, have any of you ever seen the movie Primer? Or like, um, oh, what, what, what was this crazy movie called? Um, um the, the, the acting was all improv and it was this crazy sci-fi coherence it was called coherence have you seen coherence or primer yeah, primer. Yeah, I, I like primer. I, I kind of feel like this is a little bit like primer. Like I have this crazy, and it just keeps getting more complicated. But all right, so here's part three. We take this back. We take the staircase. It goes right out to the courtyard. And we come home. You should definitely check out Coherence. And when we get here, we get back here, the alien sphere is going to be here. And I predict that the, that the foot of the, of the alien sphere is going to be here. I predict that the... The, the low staircase of the alien sphere is going to be on this east side. Um, and hope to God it is. So let's, let's do it. Witness? Um, is that the one with the where there's, I thought Witness was the one where it was like mazes. Yeah, I think that's kind of what I'm going for, Miles. Like, you have to understand um, the teleporting to understand what I'm doing. I'm not sure I understand what I'm doing, but all right. So this is lined up. We got this. This should be the shortcut to the to the yard. Okay, so far so good. This probably needs a way to do this, but we know this works. Um, I actually, I started to play The Witness and I thought it was all mazes and then I got nauseous. It made me super, super nauseous. I couldn't play it at all. Um, I couldn't find how to change the FOV. It was, it was like, like I had been spun around. So all I know is like the very first, I don't know, a few, few little dot line puzzles. That's all I ever saw. I guess I should watch a Let's Play. Oh yeah, other people are getting nauseous? I, I struggle. A lot of these games, these new 3D games, a lot of them make me nauseous. I don't... I, I think it's FOV, they're designed for console and stuff like that, but I don't I don't know why they keep doing it. Alright, we're heading back. Okay. Engage. Actually, just thinking about being nauseous is making me a little bit nauseous. So I'm going to stop talking about it. <laughs> All right. So now we're going to check our hypothesis, okay? 
the hypothesis is, or the, the not the hypothesis, the prediction is <clears throat> the low staircase is going to be east if the, if the clock tower is north. <clears throat> um, so in this game, I changed the FOV to like 105 um, before I ever started playing it, and I think I think that uh, that did the trick. It seems like it, I don't know in Minecraft and all sorts of games, I, ha I just have to have a high FOV. Minecraft makes me nauseous if I don't change it. I was definitely using a mouse for witness. I only like to play um, platformers with gamepads. All right. I guess we should do it from up here. Success! Okay, all right, last step. So f step four, um, we need to rotate this four times so that this staircase points south. Oh, yeah, pal, you missed some, some great puzzling. I think we've almost solved this. Okay. That's one. Two. Three. Four. So this should put the, the low staircase on the south. Mm. Probably okay. Probably okay. South is not exactly what's going on because it's it's a six grid, but I'm, I think that's it. So now to test this, well, basically, let's see, the, the, the high one should be what we called east before. Oh, we can't see it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, show show pale the spoilers chat. Wait, what? What? What 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 what? Hold on. So I expected <clears throat> I expected the high point to be about where the low point started, and that's not what happened. So it's as if I haven't spawned it enough. 
but I'm not exactly sure what went on. Um, I feel like I have to spin it one more time. But now I'm, now I'm really confused because uh, that would be six spins. So now this is going east, and uh, that's going west. I think this is right, but I don't know why we had to spin it six times. But but I also think it's um, I think it's correct. Well, if it's not. We can fix it. I'm confident enough that I want to test it instead of playing with it. So let's do that. And uh, this is going to be the part where I apologize um, for wasting your time. Or I do a little celebration, celebratory dance for confidently going with my gut. The problem with testing it is I have to go all the way back, teleport, and then go all the way back. I, I, ha I, have, I find it hard to believe this is the solution to this puzzle, but um, you never know with these kinds of people. <sighs> I almost wonder if the right solution involves figuring out <clears throat> how to put ambassador seeds in places they don't have them. Because that would probably be easier. Oops. Um. I'd ask for probability uh, assessments as to whether we've got it or not, but since Miles knows how the game works, I, I'd, I'd rather you not say anything. I, d I definitely want to waste my time if I have the wrong solution. I, I do not want it uh, revealed. All right, we made it over here. A little bit of pop in today. I didn't see that the other day, where the the textures are getting sharper when we get close, and it just kind of pops. Okay, go up here. And theoretically, this hasn't moved, right? Because we didn't rotate this. <laughs> Chair five, I get it right. Okay. Uh, was it here? This is. This is going to make me very angry if this is moved, because we did not rotate the Earth sphere. So if the game designers think that they should somehow be rotated, that would piss me off. All right, good. Same, same as we left it. So now we come back through here. This restores the original... Um, probably should have looked at how that was spaced, but whatever. 
we're we're doing it live. Okay. Theoretically. The original geometry has been restored. So we have to go back one more time and we'll be able to walk around normally. If if it works. If it didn't work, the problem is we have to do this like twice to undo it, which is super, super annoying. Um, I guess it's the kind of thing, if you're a game designer, and you do not want people to um, um, to to brute force a puzzle. That this would do it, because <clears throat> this is a pretty long process of checking. Um, you know what also would be sad if, if we're not supposed to do this? The dude is just gonna hang out there till the end of time. I'm, I'm just trying to think if this game, if the goal was to somehow bring an ambassador seed here, how would you possibly do it? Like, it would have to be a, a wagon or something. Or you do a magic dance. I guess we, we have to come from the other side. Um, I'm getting kind of tired of going the long way. Is there a short way? Did we open up? Because there's no there's no staircase here. I think I think we have to go this long way. Do 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 do. I'm gonna be really sad when this uh. When this doesn't lock up. All right, it's a moment of truth. <laughs> Success. So here's how we got here originally. Okay. This is the shortcut. Right? And this is the... Thanks, Joey. 
Here's the bees. Um. All right, now let me compare my notes to what we think the doors would be. So I think there's, so we, I wrote down that there might be, that there's a high, that there's definitely a high on the right. And we got that, that's the shortcut. I wrote down that there's a high on the left, but also there might be a low on the left. So it could be that there's a, that there's a door on the left down there. Maybe. The other ones we got. The problem is, it's really hard to get to now. <laughs> maybe, maybe we should have done that first. Um, unless... Beautiful. Fucking fantastic. I think we can leave it like this for forever now. So here was the door I think that we actually originally took. Yeah. <laughs> I'm don't don't be uh don't be afraid, Joey. I'm pretty I'm pretty confused myself. But I think I think we've worked it out. So this is the door that we originally took to get to the bees. There's two doors that go to the bees, and they're on top of one another. Now, I don't know why they do that, but they do that. So we can go up here, and this leads to the door uh, directly above it, right here. So right below here is another door. There's two doors to the bees. It's one to the shortcut and one to this bathysphere thing. Now, I think what we're, um, <laughs> all right. So ignoring the details, Joey, what we did was we put this sphere back where it belongs in the right orientation. I mean, you got that much, right? Like this is how it originally was before it was transported to the other planet. Um, To fix it, we had to rotate it. That's pretty much, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I guess it's the details that are complicated. Um, now, now that we've done all that, there's not really anything we can do, I don't think. Um, but we've opened up another shortcut, so. I think what's happening on this planet is that we're opening up a lot of shortcuts and eventually what's going to happen is we have to use those shortcuts to repair other spheres. It's a confusing mess. Yeah, totally. Um, it, it all comes down to the only way we could rotate the sphere is if this sphere was on the first planet. So we had to put the sphere on the first planet. But we couldn't just get back here by teleporting because there's no teleporter. So we had to walk around and teleport it from the other side. It's a pain in the ass. Um, now, I might have just missed something. And that really we can teleport it from both sides. But uh, who knows? Let's take this back. I, I have no idea what we should do. I'm going to take it back up. Whew. Well, that may not have been helpful immediately, but I'm sure we had to do that. It's kind of like um, a Rubik's Cube. You know, you, you sh shift it around and stuff. Um, but there's only one moving part. But there's a lot of dimensions or something. I don't know.
Oh shit. Oh shit. That's the number. Um Okay, let me let me clip it. So I'm, I'm looking through the screenshots. I'm going to grab that number and I'll put it on the screen. Now, I, I don't know what we do with it, but I bet this is the number. It's about the right number of digits. All right, and then I'm going to put it on just like... Uh, can I zoom in? This tool isn't really meant for this, of course. Um, I actually started writing a piece of software that we can use to, to do clues on the screen like this. Um, but for now, I, I don't know. Actually, that might not be useful for you because it's just a number. So I, I can't see the number when I'm in the game. So I'm going to write it down, which is another reason why I want a program to help me with clues. Just one second. All right, so one thousand one seven six seven zero eight three nine two four five eight two eight three four four. Okay. Uh, so what? What if I, I mean, that's a, that's about right, right? Let's type it in. Can I, I really wish I could just use the keyboard. Jesus Christ. One, oh, oh, one, seven, six, seven. Oh, eight. This is actually kind of making me sick. Three, nine, two, four. Five eight two eight three four four. It's the same number of digits. Screenshotted it. I feel like some of them are brighter than others, but that might just be a, a thing. Now what? I sort of hoped it would do something. Well, I hope we don't have to type it in again. I guess we need to figure out the rest of the puzzle somewhere else. Um, no idea. I think it might be time to return to the first planet. Um, I bet it says caution, danger. Oh, don't tell me though. Actually, I, I, I don't want to know, Joey. Uh, we're going to head back to the first planet and check out the submarine again. And see if we can get to the, uh, across the, the river. Um, 
I don't think there's anything... that I haven't done here. I mean, I guess... For the record, it is rushing. Okay. Um... How did you Google Translate it? How did you type in Cyrillic? Let, let's cross over. I don't exactly remember what was over here. take it back. I, I should honestly, I should probably be keeping better notes about what's going on. Um, I hope it doesn't come back to bite me. Yeah, in games like this where it just keeps getting more and more complicated and if you didn't record all this stuff, you, you wind up having to do it eventually anyway. Copy pasted, screenshot it, and paste and paint so you can refer to it. Wow, that's dedication. Um, I don't know what to do. Um, I guess I'm trying to decide where should I go looking again. And I think I'm gonna, I'm think I'm gonna look here just one more time. And then, uh, then we're definitely gonna go back to the submarine. <laughs> I think that yeah the screenshot function itself is a is a troll. You think you think you took notes, but really you have nothing. Oh we can get in here. To what end? Do not know. Of course, we're trying to get to this tree. I mean, that's sort of... Um... At, at least a medium-term goal. Looks like you can crawl into it just like the other one. But there's all this wreckage. up a lot of shortcuts here. I, I don't know if that really enables anything, but it's worth it's worth exploring a bit more. So it's kind of above above that room, the weight, the scale room. And we've been on the other side of... Ugh.
All right, I'm gonna look up here one more time to make to sort of say that we've looked here. Look how nicely these stairs fit together. My goodness. Um, I think... I think we don't need to go down here. So we can get to the weight room, though. All right, well. So let's finish exploring this. So do, do, do. OK, then this. It's rubble. Get here, can't get there. Can't get there. Okay, and we've been up here. This was a dead end. I might be missing something obvious, but I don't I don't see anything. So I'm gonna head back to the first planet. And there's a few things that I want to look at, specifically the submarine. Um Because that's the only place that I can remember seeing Cyrillic. Any uh, another place, I mean to say. Um, all right. <clears throat> here's here's a slightly more solid. Um, hypothesis. Well, this is... You might as well call it a wild guess. But good ending. Replace all of the spheres the way that they were. Bad ending. Help CW. Explode something. Explode the aliens. Who he thinks are the bad guys, but aren't really. kind of funny, but I, I feel a little bit more comfortable in the first world. Just because there's Earth stuff, I guess. It's like... I, underst I feel like I understand the puzzles or something like that. Uh, 
uh, yeah, CW is <coughs> walk, walking JPEG, dude. Exactly. It might be CE. I think it's CW, though. Okay. So two, two main goals. Three, three goals that I can think of. Figure out the Russian machine. Get on the other side of the river in this world. And get to the tree in the second world. Let's take a walk. Let's take a walk by the river. Okay, new screenshot. No, no clue what that's about. Could just be flavor text. Um, yeah, the final quest might be help save me from pixelization. Turn me into a PNG, please. What the hell are these things? Um, what's confirmed, Pale? That he's a walking JPEG? He's, he's not really a walking JPEG. It's just how people look in this game. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm pr pretty sure that he's CW. It's like, I'm pretty sure. So, um, I don't have a new screenshot of it, but he, he has a journal where he talks about his children because, um, he was taken from Earth right before he was about to be hanged. And um, actually, I guess that's not really proof that he's say W either. I take it back. But I, I'm, I take it back. All right. Well, our one of one of the places we haven't been to is basically right below me. And my guess is that I have to come through a cave, but I'm not sure what cave. I feel like we've um I feel like we've been through all the caves, but we we opened up a passage. Just to take a look from a good side here. We opened up this passage that had rocks. And um, I would assume that's like how we get to this place, but I don't I don't know. So I guess we could use the fact that it's opposite sides and maybe try to luck into it a bit. I think this brings us to the house.
I mean, we've we've explored all these, but uh, um, I do believe this is the first time we've really wandered where we really didn't even have much of an idea of where to go. So this is how we got to the junkyard the first time, I guess. Did you see that? This, this thing was like glowing. It's not doing it now. But this tower had l little circles on each of the lines. It's, it kind of looks like it's connected to the dome, but... Okay, all right. I guess let's go take a look at uh, this, the sub. If I can uh, get to it. This is the top of the wall, but I wonder Did, did I just forget about this? Did I really just forget about this? No, oh my God. How? How could I have missed this? I, I mean, I didn't, there's no way I missed it. I had. I bet I said, "Oh, let's look over here first, and then we'll come back to it." And I completely forgot about it. Because I do remember being over here. I remember this little bridge. Oh, pale. Oh, man. Let's, let's, let's go to the green planet. Well, here's something we haven't done. Oh, man. This is why I need to take notes. I, re I really wish I had two monitors. Because as it is, I have to alt-tab to... to keep the notes up. So this is the planet where we've opened the door. Looks like that might be it. 
So this must be... I can't, I can't remember the names, but these are the dudes who, who have the uh, base 4 language. Um, the vet, 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 veterans or something. They seem to be good guys. They gave us the blue laser. But they, maybe they're the bad guys. Because they're trying to kill the red guys. I don't know. Oh, Lord. I cannot believe I forgot about the teleporter. I guess at the time I didn't know it was a teleporter. I don't even have a memory of it. Don't panic. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just stay on this path and cross the first bridge. Then keep going until you get to that signing area. You'll get more information after you sign in. Don't yeah. panic. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. That's it. Valiance or something. Cross the first bridge. Then keep going until you get to that signing area. You'll get more information after you sign in. I feel like. I feel like I don't want to go this don't way. Don't panic. Whenever someone tells me to go somewhere, I feel like that must be the wrong way. These are really bright. Like, really bright. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear, okay. There's lots of, lots of paths here. Paths. I mean, I think if I think it's a it's a, a fine idea to translate the the Russian. Plus, hey, you're learning Russian, right? So, is this another teleporter? So here's what's weird about this teleporter is that it hasn't been used. That's kind of funky. All right, now I'm going to leave and just per immediately proceed to forget about it. I guess we have to do it. Let's. What? This is another crazy geometry puzzle. We still didn't get to see the submarine. But I guess I guess this is something we definitely have to do. <laughs> we just went we just went back. <laughs> we just went back to where, where we started. No! Oh, we didn't! What the fuck? Okay, I think this is a simple puzzle. I think we just have to go back through here, and then we can cross that gap. Because there's a bridge, there's a stone bridge. That's really cute. Okay, that's really cute. I like that. I like, let's hope it doesn't get any more complicated than that, because it's nice to have a breather sometimes, but that's, a really, that's really cute. Oh my god, this is, this is such a good game. I don't understand why it has mixed reviews. I mean, other than not being patched in a while, but it hasn't crashed for us. It seems to be relatively stable. Such a great game. All right, we have to find our way back, which is not my strong suit. Don't panic. This is the best way to keep everyone safe. Just 
uh, on Steam. Steam says uh, mixed reviews for recent uh, recent reviews. Look at that! We now we have a bridge here. Yeah, don't, don't, please, 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 please be careful about spoilers. Um, if you, if you, if you wonder if it's safe, it's not safe. Yeah, I, I don't know. I guess I thought it was about updates, but maybe VR stuff hasn't been updated or, I don't know. Uh... Oh my god, I, I, I feel like we're lost again. We're in that part of the game where it's just like, here's a planet. Um, you have to figure out all this stuff. Very backtracky. Uh, these games have to be, though, don't they? Okay. Um... So something I'm realizing is there's there's like the planet outside and the planet inside. And we might have to identify these at some point and match them back up or something. I don't know. Yeah, I guess the, the backtracking, it doesn't have to be as long as it is, but... If they made it shorter, it might feel gamey. So I, I, I think it would be a hard thing to get just right. Let's let's try this one. So I think this has something to do with the mask that is sitting in the mayor's office. Because it, I see these these bird wings sort of glitter. And it looks like the same shade of red in the mayor's uh, office. Uh, and of course, because I always think everything's the bad guy. Maybe the mayor's the bad guy and these are the enemies. And they're collaborating. The base four thing, yeah, I really. So so Miles, we we spent a little while and we completely figured out the base four thing. So I can produce or decode numbers um, at will. And then you didn't even need to do that to solve the puzzle. That was really disappointing. But please, no spoilers. We're hoping that it comes back later, and I, I have to understand it. But, you know, no spoilers. So, there seems to be... Oh, yeah. There seems to be these sort of bridge things that probably we have to enable. Um, using Valerian steel or whatever. Valerian technology. Base 4. Um, but so far, I don't know how. I wonder if this was supposed to be the first planet that you found, and I somehow didn't find it until after doing so much on what I've been calling the second planet. That would be funny. wonder how that looks on screen.
Just kind of curious. Oh, that looks pretty good. Can I touch it? Yeah, if you if you didn't if you didn't want to play Mist, this wouldn't be uh, a good game for you. Yeah, these are definitely the Valerians or the whatever they are, because this is the same thing as on the uh, scooter. Hey, check it out. So this looks like a bug, maybe a small, small, small bug. But when I'm on this side and use it, nothing happens. But on this side, it, it works. And maybe that's the... Ah! 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 Oh my god. So it's really, really, really lagged, which is, I guess, the, the fun of it. But I've completely lost it, so no idea where it is now. Come back here, you blue thing. I don't even know where to. I can't. I can't find it. Where are you? We gotta. We gotta hit that thing. It's weird that there's a screen, but nothing's on it. I can't figure out how to get it back. So I kind of wonder if this is a bug, because it was acting really weird when we started. Um, Oh, I saw it for a bit. Did you see it? Um, I'd point with my fingers, but that wouldn't be useful. Yeah, I saw... Oh, there it was. So up, uh, 
It's really strange. Um, I have it pushed all the way forward and it's not really moving. Come back, come back, come back, come back. This is... No, 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 no. This be unexpected. But happy. Good. Very good time to be come here now. I am not know who you are, but I could use help. Watch. I am trapped, not can move. These beasts, called villains, they are much danger. Just look around. They live below water. And they are keeping storing us for food. You will see as you go. Come. I cannot be here. Find a way to me. And I can figure this out. So I don't trust him. I don't trust anybody I've seen in this game. Um, the bottom of his his fig form had the red glow of the um, what are they called? Mosfets or something? Fit mis misfits. Um, and if, and if, and they you know. The Valeans and the Mosfets are clearly antagonists to, toward one another, but I don't know which is the so-called good. It's probably neither of them are good, if, if, if I remember Mist. Um, the rotary phone. Yeah, it's it's not even that it was reverse controls like flight controls, but it just disappeared. I mean, it wasn't centering. That was the main problem. Um, and, and it's very, very lag. Super, super slow. Yeah. All right. Well... That was really quick. We we erased the ceiling, the barrier. Um, there's actually a place we can cross the barrier that we've seen before. But who knows what else is out here in this forest? Um, yeah, okay, so going back to that dude, I actually thought it was the mayor at first, J Joseph, Joshua, whatever. Um, sort of looked like him, but I, at any rate, I'm pretty sure he's just a projection. And uh, well, I, I know it's not a sequel. I'm just saying it, it would be keeping in the theme if 
you had two opposing forces, neither of which was good. I think we came I think we came through here. Oh I see, I didn't see Joey's comment, sorry. Um uh, there's that shape that we saw on the door before. When we used three, I think. Um hold on, let me get my notes. Yeah. They're really big on lights. So the Valeans gave them the blue laser. Now maybe they were using the humans um, and trying to pit the humans against the uh, mo uh, MOSFETs. I, don't, I can't, whatever. Oh, interesting. Okay, there's nothing to do but pass through another barrier. What? That looks like a teleporter. Oh my gosh, so much stuff. Oh, hello. Oh, that's the that's the noise. All right, so we can go up to um 1023 I don't know what the what I don't know what number we'd put in Anyone who rushes you is a bad guy. I feel like if someone's rushing you to do something, um, they're a scammer. Don't those bird wings look like the mask in the mayor's office? So presumably these have like a passcode, essentially. Um, and we have to put in a certain number. I, I really hope. I mean, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna jump the gun. <laughs> Maybe they're gonna show us shapes, but I really hope they show us numbers. If they show us numbers and we have to put in the shape, um, they've redeemed themselves in my eyes. He literally looks like a sleazy businessman. <laughs> uh, what What do you think the actor would think if uh, if he found out you said that, Joey? These kind of look like weapons. Um, all right, we came in here, but I can't. I can't see anything to do except for putting in numbers, which I really want to do, but I don't. So the 
So we have the three digit number from the sub, which is seven, six, seven, eight. Um, we don't even, we don't even know what order those numbers are in though. Otherwise, I don't think we have any numbers that are in search of a puzzle. Uh, what if, what if this is we're we're trying to do digits? It's like it comes up, it comes up per digit. So the problem is there's four of them. But, but imagine, so I mean, technically we have four digits, it's just that the first digit can only be zero or one. But imagine that this is this shows up, the bridge shows up if we have the number correct in the four digit sequence, four digit number. That's a possibility, but I don't like that possibility because this one can only be zero or one. And, uh, And how in the world to be guessed two of them correctly? Desperate situation up here. If you could, please. Hurry. I appreciate. I think we're just supposed to enter the code that's at the very end of the message. Um, that's flashing up. That's, please don't be the, please don't be the solution. See it? A little bit, yeah. Simpsons. How did I get it to come up? Come on. Huh. It lets you draw diagonally, even if even though that's not part of the language. It's really funny. I'm not even, um, I just, I just added stuff. It never disappeared. I just kept adding lines until it lets me, lets me through it. So the game has not redeemed itself and is in fact a complete failure. <laughs> Not really, but just with respect to this one uh, feature. Um, that's really sad. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Joey. I know you're disappointed and I feel like I've let you down. Um, 
I'm really sorry. That's so disappointing. Why did they come up with such a cool thing and then fail to use it? So the only thing that makes me think that maybe there's still some hope left in this world is that some of them are blue, solid blue, and some of them have this um, trim. I'm really sorry, Joey. Well, I mean, I guess I hear what you're saying, Miles, and I agree, in fact, but I think they shouldn't have introduced the number system if they're not going to use it. That's just, um, I, I, it's like, it's one of these things, it's it's just the sort of a fundamental principle of game design is you should reward the player for exploration. And we explored and we figured out the system and we're not rewarded for it. And it just feels like we wasted our time. And I think I think that's the problem, is if, if they hadn't introduced it, if it had just been pictographs and, and, and not a whole cool system, it wouldn't have been a problem. Um, I'm not as sad as I probably look. I mean, I'm, I am actually sad about this, but um, I think I still like the game. But I do need to take another break. I'm going to be back uh, in two shakes of a lamb's tail. So, see you in a bit. Okay, so I'm back, and uh, I have a little more, a little more fuel. This uh, this game takes a lot of tea. Some games are high tea, some games are low tea. Um, this is definitely a high tea game. All right. So we've opened up these bridges. I, I still think the way that they wanted you to do it was the little things that were flashing up um, on the screen, but 
I don't know how to get this to come back, so now I think maybe that can't be it, because what if you didn't know to write it down? At any rate, let's let's do this one first. For instance, to yourself, it's good stuff. Um, to your D and D group, it would be a neat. I feel like this would be a neat um, setting for a RPG. Not so puzzly, but um, but to take the the mythos. We've been here. This is the uh, this is the other side of the bridge that we saw when we kind of first uh, started, and we uh, we've opened it up. Okay, so. So this is kind of, in my head, this was like the far right of this valley. Um, okay. It looks like I've got a teleporter. Ooh, here's a here's a little puzzle. So I think what we need to do is to get these glowy bits to line up. I'm not sure that's just a puzzle. I think the, the exit is right there. Let's see. I think the loading screen wouldn't quite be so long if it was next door. I don't, it's, it's, then that's just, I think that's just, um, that's a mean thing to do. If you tell, if you trick people into, into learning this thing, and then there's no advantage to learning it, it's just, I feel like it's kind of like giving you the middle finger. Um, we've teleported something to the other, uh, to the other world. Um, I'm not sure, I'm not sure what, I guess it's a palette or something. But my, my hope is that when we go back, we'll be able to move them somehow, but I, I don't, I don't know, but let's try to go back. Let's, we, we need to see both sides of the puzzle for sure. Um, this game is so crazy. Um, by the way, I want to show all of you out there, this is the default walk speed. This is when you start the game for the first time, this is the speed at which you move. Why would you ever want to move this slow? And so we're, we've been running, which I feel is more like a walk, honestly. Um, I bet a lot of people wouldn't be complaining about the backtracking if you could move a little bit faster. Um, can, ha, this game would take like a thousand hours if you had to walk this, this slow.
All right, I don't even know how we got up there, honestly. I think we've got a... Um... Don't remember which. Like sequence of uh, teleports. Okay. All right, so if we take this. I think. So we need to find our way back. Um, so we go through orientation. Oh shit! Orientation. This is exactly what it is. So whoever whoever actually designed this took the humans in. Now, again, I don't know. Whether or not they're the good guys, they might have taken them in in order to, um, like, eat them or something. Speedruns and puzzle games, but not speedruns of puzzle games. It, it's, yeah, I, that seems weird, I guess. I feel like I get speedruns of, um, like, platformers. But... Speed run of Bejeweled, maybe? That would be interesting. I think I... So I did How Long to Beat, or whatever that website is, and I thought the speed run said, like, six minutes. So there must be some kind of crazy bug. Maybe it wasn't six minutes, but it was something like that. I fear for safety. You are not. You are making very bad decisions. Under six minutes, yeah, I thought so. Um, all right, so there's the. You can't see my fingers. There's the. Uh, the place we want to go. So probably. Hug this wall on the far right. Oh, okay. All right. Stop, stop, stop. Miles, that's a spoiler. No, don't say anything else. That Because you've already told me something huge, which is that the game can be beaten in under six minutes without glitches, which, like, when I'm considering what are the possible ways to beat the game, that really cuts down the state space. Um, so I'm going to try to ignore that. All right, we walk across. What the hell? It's just garbage. Well, I did not expect that. Oh. Uh. 
like this one has a bigger circle. Yeah. Yeah, because in Mist, yeah, exactly. Well, that's what I'm worried about in this game, is that is exactly the same thing as Mist. Um, but let, let's not talk about it anymore. Instead, let's talk about uh, Valerian Steel. So, this, this actually does the whole room. And so this is going to swap... God, I don't know. This is really bending my brain. That's going to put back the glowy stuff. I'm pretty sure we have to get these uh, tiles right so that the glows uh, match. But how to do it? That's tricky. Oh shit, I can't even get out of here. Oh, there we go. What a crazy... This game is so crazy. Um, I was I was just kind of kidding because the enemies, I keep calling them Valerians. What are they? Valerians? Or villains, if you want to use the loaded term. So the other the other doohickey is back in the other world. What is the point of all this? Well, he did, he did, Joey, and and I kind of thought that maybe he's just doing that because, um, to make it seem like they're the villains, like bad guys but I don't know what is the point of this nonsense all right if I had to bet I'd bet that we need to get the original I wish I had a pointer could f f something um, to get the original Tran teleporter to be here, but I don't see how to do that using the tools at our disposal. So if I walk back and look in the other world, it's going to have a teleporter here and not a teleporter here. And if I take it, it's going to be this sphere, this whole correct sphere here, or not whole correct, but the What's the point? What's the point? What's the point? Kind of looks like there's a door. This, because it's the same shape on this side as the opposite side. And all right. Well, I hate I hate to do this because I don't know why I'm doing it, but my gut tells me to go back. Hey, maybe we'll learn the route. But my gut tells me to go back and send that teleporter over, and then send the whole thing. That's just stupid. Why would I do that? I'm I'm gonna do it anyway. Um, although I would appreciate if somebody remembers the name of the aliens that I keep calling the MOSFETs. Let me. Um, Yeah, 
Yeah, so this is this was the dude who's probably the mayor when it was on Earth. Mo Fang. I, I should remember that because um, Mojang is the name of the company that makes uh, Minecraft. So the Mo Fang. Yeah, so see he, here how um, Ruko has not been told that the Valeans provided it. There's, there's some kind of shady business going on. The Valeans give us this technology that disables Mofeng technology and blah, 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 blah. I have no idea who the good guy is. Yep, Mofeng. Mojang, so the Mojang and the Valerians, that's going to be my canon. Um, all right, let's see if we can do this right the first time. What are the chances I can do it right the first time? Zero. Chances are zero um, because I have failed. I have brought shame to my people. All right, second try is a charm. So we head, we head back. So I'm just thinking like, how could we rotate it? Because there doesn't seem to be a track, you know, like in the other place. But maybe it's not really about rotation. Oh god. All right. Uh, I really don't know this place. But I think we f <laughs> Uh dead end. Oh wait, what's that? I think we keep right ish. Yeah. The door. So I didn't know what I was doing, but we opened a door. I did notice the door. That I may, I'm a little bit proud of that, but I really didn't understand. All right, so we've got a, a recall. So this elevator goes both ways, if you know what I mean. <laughs> um, we're just below where the red laser was. There's two paths. A little suspicious of this area. Doesn't this sound like cries of help?
Okay, hold on a second. So... So we... So this is a different sphere. So that was the sphere we were at before. This sphere is kind of the puzzle I was thinking the other one was. Which is... Um, we can rotate shit. So, how does this rotate? So... Okay, it's 180 degrees, luckily. Um... And now I understand the purpose of this, which is to know how much it's going to pull. So this is going to pull the whole room. Oh, you can't cancel it, but you can't you can walk out of it. Um, I feel like we should start... Lord, this is going to be crazy. I feel like we should start with this just to kind of put things back in their right place and, and maybe understand the other location. So let's try that. Honestly, this game... feels a little bit like Portal to me. And I feel like if they had polished it up a bit and maybe made it faster and I don't know, it, it, it would be as good as Portal. Why is this here? What the hell is this shit? Where am I? I don't I don't recognize this mine. Well, let's take this back. I don't... How... Oh, for the bridge! Okay, 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 okay. Got it. Eh. It's the point where you put your brain on off and just relax thank god no suggestions <laughs> don't worry pale i'll do all the hard work for you um i bet we need to get there hey but guess what we don't need to solve a puzzle for it we just draw all over everything i literally have no idea what the point of this is just gonna, just gonna draw a bunch of stuff. The sure, sure it'll be fine. Shit. <laughs> that was funny. It doesn't because the 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 walkways don't disappear as you keep adding stuff. I mean, it's a puzzle like it's it's not it's not a puzzle. What the fuck is this? Why would we want to be here? So, I don't know that we can do anything with these things. 
Well, I bet if you did it the right way, it probably would be tricky. But um, but I, you can just brute force it in like two seconds. That's the problem. A puzzle's good if you can't, you know, like if you can't brute force it. Or um, I was joking actually with Pale when we started the game. You know, there was a four-digit code on the house, and I was joking. Well, I'll just try them all. Put. You could do it, but it wouldn't be time efficient. Yeah, it, it auto corrects. That's the thing. Is it it switches to a real number, to an actual number. All right. I. So this is this may be telling. Um. Because there appears to be no reason to be here. And why would they let you get here, or make you get here, if there's no reason to be here? So are we going to have to do something to the um, Mofang technology at some point? All right, so now we'll rotate. Oh, let's get on it. Oh, it won't let us in. Oh, that's so disappointing. I wanted to. I wanted to spin on the floor. Um, let's open this up. Oh shit, we actually lost a piece of floor there. Oh, this one's trickier than the others. See, this is what uh, this is what I was talking about. Like, this is the first time the pieces disappeared. So now it's I'm starting to think, oh god, we have to figure out what we're doing. Maybe not. There's a teleporter in there. Yep, you're right, Joey. I've lost my touch. I'm almost to the point where I'm going to sit and try to think about it. But I'm not there yet.
that put the last one on? Don't understand that puzzle, but we beat it. Um, this is a solitary sphere. I don't see anything. But I assume that we're going to be able to get through it. See this door? So let's let's go for it. <laughs> I, I really like this world, except for the uh, base four puzzles. Otherwise, I, I really like the um, the sphere puzzles. And it looks really pretty. And in a completely different way than the other uh, worlds. Okay, so we're close to where that other sphere was in these mines. Oh, yeah! Oh, no. I thought, I thought we were going to be able to open a shortcut. But so we have to open that door. The art director of this game and the witness is like the same person. Interesting. Um. So as far as I can tell, we have to open that door. And then we can use this to, to do stuff. But until we open that door, this is useless. So we head back. I haven't played this. <clears throat> Is Fez Fe a block puzzle game or like a platformer or something? Or both. Entirely sure. You have to rotate the stage. Oh, like the um, the mobile game. The mobile game where you it's like three D and stuff, and it uh, you have to walk over things that shouldn't be geometrically possible. I can't remember what that's called. So what is... What is the deal? Well, I've restored the original geometry. Three D world, you can only walk in two D. Sounds neat. <sighs> or have I? Because why is this here? Or, or are we supposed to put a bridge across? Um, we could do that. If I uh, send this back, <laughs> and then we walk the whole way. 
Maybe. Maybe. I'm not, I'm not sure I understand the goal of this one. In case I ever don't know what to play. That's pretty rare. I feel like um, it happens. But... Oh shit, we can't walk back. So... May, may, maybe? This kind of doesn't make sense based on what I know about the bridges, but I'm going to take a leap of faith. Braid? I, I didn't like Braid. I played a couple of worlds or a couple of levels and I just... Eh, I, I wasn't crazy about it. it. It went from super easy to super hard and I didn't know what I was doing. So I think I think this is what I want to do. But I have to open this first. And I don't know how to open that. Because I can't um can't do anything here without opening that door. And I don't even know where we are. Like, I haven't seen this, as far as I can tell. Like a cavern? So let's head back. It, it is a little frustrating that it takes so long to, to do these things. Uh, I guess you could see it as punishment for failure. Like TF in TF2, for example, it's, it's, I don't like playing when the when it's instant spawn, just because um, you might as well just die. Like there's no there's no real incentive to keep you alive. There's a little bit of incentive because you have to walk back, but it's um, it's a lot less. So, and if I flip this, there's nothing to do. I think we. I don't know. I, f I feel like we have to come at this from another direction. Um... Let's come back. Oh, there's a bridge there. Put the panels on the other side. Um. What's the point of this? I 
have to say, a little bit confused. So, all right, here's what I'm thinking. From, from the sphere that was behind, I think you can't, I think you can't see it from here. It was like over here, or behind that. Um, you can see this sphere from the other side. So I, I think it's, it's the same. Um, distance. In space on both sides which doesn't really make a whole lot of sense but I think that's the game logic uh, but I, maybe I'm wrong about that but that would mean that um, that this the junkyard is what we've been calling it the junkyard is like above that mine or near near to it. Oh, you know what? You know what that might be? That might be those holes that the crazy noises came out of. So I'm just trying to think how could we possibly get down there? Because I think we have to get down there on the first planet's side in order to in order to open that door. Um I'm going to send this back. Maybe maybe we should explore a little bit more. I can't remember. This was a shortcut. And then this is a travel across the map. You know what we have? I'll take that. I was going to say, you know what we haven't seen is that door that we opened up, but we did. We put in, we put in the code for it before we came here uh, to get blocked by it. Funny little area. Hmm. I'm basically just <clears throat> walking around to make sure we didn't miss anything. Or hoping that we find something that we haven't seen before. But, uh... I don't know. Clearly, I cannot trust my memory. Because I thought, uh because I didn't even remember the green teleporter to begin with. But if you can't trust your memory, 
What are you gonna do? All right, let's head back using this. This will put all the belay and technology on the first planet. Not sure why, but I mean, I'm not sure why it would be useful, but. So spatially, I think um, I think this is exactly where those uh, where those other spheres are, like underneath us. So we need to find our way down somehow, or maybe that's a fool's errand. And the goal is uh, is to teleport there from the other side, but. But I, I don't know. Can't jump down. I'd, I'd love to get on this side of the river. I bet that's connected. Alright, I think we've been putting it off too long. I'm going to go check on the sub. Not check on it, but you know what I mean. Um, I think we know a lot more about the game. Makes sense to take a look. And who knows what we might find. I, I just realized that uh, the doors below the tree are probably, they probably teleport you to the other trees. So once you've fed the green tree or something, you'd be able to teleport to the green tree. That's my guess. How the hell do you get to the sub? I feel like it was over here. <clears throat> here it is. Uh, here's your Cyrillic, Joey.
I think they all say the same thing. What if CW is trying to launch a nuclear missile in the summer? Like this one. I bet this is the other thing that uh, that you noticed I missed. There's a three here. There's a six eight. <laughs> have you have you been looking forward to me going to the sub? Because of that. Oh, making it rain. It, it's kind of strange that this one doesn't have a number. You'd think that. All right, I'm going to take a screenshot here. Oh, I didn't solve anything, Joey. I just uh, I found another number. <laughs> There's a three hidden behind the missile. How did you see that? I guess it's easier to see when you're not uh, driving so to speak. But yeah, these have six and eight. This says seven and three. You'd think there'd be one on this one, but it's like scratched off maybe or... But I'm, I'm gonna... I, I can't remember if I did this, but I'm gonna screenshot that. All right. Where do we need a four digit number? I feel like there might have been a place around here. I had it on screen a million times. <laughs> well. Um, wasn't I think I feel I thought there was like a ladder, but maybe I'm just imagining it because of that. I don't I don't know how to get up there. I'm just thinking maybe there's another hidden number somewhere. More. <laughs> No more autistic screeching and hillbilly yelling. Is that uh, is that what you were doing, pal? <laughs> uh. Oh God, that sound comes on a little aggressively. Oh my god, and this one's this one's locked too? It's too many doors.
How am I supposed to solve puzzles with all these doors closed? <laughs> yeah, I, uh, I know the feeling. I told you I was watching Delvina play La Milana. And yeah, I don't really watch sports, like football and stuff like that. I've never understood why people scream at the screen at these players who can't hear you who you don't know, and the game took place two weeks ago or whatever, why would you scream at the screen? And and I definitely scream at the screen when I watched her uh, La Milana videos. Um, I really, 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 really want to get in this door. But I know I have to come from the other side. I have to, right? Screw you, door. So, but I just noticed that, um, uh, that that entrance is like just to the upper right of this. So maybe I can get there from the other side. Um, but I don't know. I bet my character is awful hungry by now. We haven't eaten any potatoes. Oh, did you see that? Look at that. Wait. The colors... The color of, of the la, la, la. the color colors of the leaves were green. Are they just changing colors? Or was it a bug? Guess it's not important. <clears throat> Oh, this was that goofy little thing. We couldn't figure out anything to do in here either. Maybe this is supposed to be a fun area, like the, um, the little library. suddenly green it I mean it probably was it probably either shift it shifts back and forth either because it's supposed to or because of uh, some kind of graphical thing <coughs> excuse me so let me just make sure I'm in the right place. really been messing around here you know, for, for a while. We solved these puzzles pretty uh, early. Oh no! So I think as you can see abduction has crashed. Uh, 
Um, <laughs> I'm going to start it back up and I'm, I'm going to hope that it's saved somewhere. Time to leave the negative steamer, dude. If it didn't save, or God forbid deleted the save, I think that's going to be it for tonight. Um, let's see, is it coming on OBS? Yeah. So it just randomly saves in the middle of nothing? It literally just randomly saves. That's really, I guess it's based on a timer, but I don't notice um, uh, like a message or anything. It, it must just be, you know, every five or ten minutes or something. That's really weird. No, that's not where it crashed. So we went, uh, this is where we went to make it crash. <clears throat> Let's see if it crashes again. I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying, Pale. Oh, shit. Um, it certainly was close. But I, I, and I, I don't really know. But we went through here, and then we turned around, and we went through the thing. So it could have been, it could have been, um... Who knows? All right, so here's my thinking. This thing is just to the upper right um, of this door, right? So if I go in through here, Like, maybe we can somehow find a thing that we haven't seen before. Don't, I guess I don't really have high hopes, but... Uh, crap. It really seems like we're supposed to... I, 
I was going to say it seems like we're supposed to use the sluice. Because there is a grid on that side. But we couldn't get it to swivel that way. I really wish there was a staircase right here. So if I go out this way, Why, why is that platform there if not to let you walk across, you know? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that we need to we need to get on that side of the river. I think that that's connected to um, the puzzle we're trying to solve on the bird, <coughs> the uh, the green planet. Um, I think, it, I think it's it charged up and then shot something, and that's what I had seen earlier. There's a lot of, a lot of mysteries. Okay, I'm taking the long way here. We haven't been able to get to that bridge, I don't think. Yeah, I, I kind of like that. I think the game, um, it makes it harder and and, uh, and more interesting that you don't really know about stuff. So, so that's definitely another place we haven't been. Whether we get there from the other side, I don't know. Um, I feel like that would be at a. I, I don't know. I, I have a hard time d figuring out a cross because it's a cross on the sphere. I'm pretty sure. Um, like when you step in, you go across on the sphere. That's kind of tricky. Uh, it might be worthwhile to pay more attention to the maps. Uh, what's the best map that we've seen? Oh, 
Okay, it's called the Bleeder. That um, thing in the lake. And, you know, a, a cross. Yeah, I, I don't know. Oh, these smudges are where you travel across. Maybe? Actually, I think yes. But it's not clear where you go. There's nothing really across from the bleeder. Oh, here. All right. The smudges are where you travel across, I'm pretty sure. So, I wish I could duck to make this actually spherical. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. Um, gonna open this up. Almost there. Oh my god, this is so, so horrible. Okay. Okay, so now I'm going to put it in OBS. So you can see it. I don't know how well you can see it. But oh, that's okay. That uh, can't undo that. <laughs> There's no undo in this program. Um, you also can't really see the highlighter. Red pen. Okay, now we're cooking with gasoline. <clears throat> Let's try to figure out where the different spots go. So the next one to the left should be the next one to the right. How, um, how visible is that? Let's draw with sucrose. Yeah. So Scrapyard. And we're, it's like the anarchy thing. Oh God, that's a straight line. Believe you me. Um, we should really be doing this in paint, huh? One second. I'm trying to grab this and put it in paint so that uh, our lines are straight. Um, so Pale, I, I like, I hope, I like the idea that what you really meant was this. Um, I, I like the idea that uh, that's what you meant. Okay. So now I'm going to, let me see if I can do this now. All right, now we're in paint. OK. 
Okay, how's that? Maybe let's let's make this a little bit bigger for you, yeah. Okay, now how does paint work? <laughs> okay, straight line, size, red. Okay, so the um, I think it's like this. So boop, 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 and then three in a row. It's easy to read, isn't it? That's and that's it. God, I wish there was a mini map in this game. So uh, it, it might be a good idea to kind of mark the ones that we've taken. Um, like, I know that we've taken... Um, I know that we've taken this one. That's that's terrible. Check check something I don't know size. Check we've taken this one, right? And we've taken this one. Should color code it. You think you think so? I think these are visible enough, right? Uh, you must really, you must really like uh, sucrose paints to suggest that I go back and color things. Um, oh God! Change the color. That's not what I meant. Stop, stop, stop changing the color. Why are you changing the color? I think this is how we do it. All right, I got it now. Beautiful, huh? <clears throat> How's that? Okay, so now we'll go back to draw. We'll go to something nice, nice and bright. So we've taken this taken this. In fact, we just took them. Those are the two that we were talking about when, when it crashed. We've definitely taken the wall. That's a check mark, believe me. Um, and we've definitely taken this one. This is the big thing that's next to the wall. We've taken these, I believe. Yeah, because this this is the uh, the one that gets us to the plateau, and this is the scrapyard. We actually commented on that earlier, saying this must be how I got to the scrapyard the first time. <coughs> so that actually is, I'm really glad we did this, because that actually um, eliminates my theory that one of these lines is going to help us get to that door. Because that means we've taken this. We've taken this, we've taken that, and we've taken that. This is the one with the rail, this is the one without the rail. Uh, thanks, Joey. Sucrose paint. Sucrose paint prevails. Um, okay, so check and check. There's only one remaining. And it's kind of, it's, 
kind of where the sub is, isn't it? Um, all right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you all the, the, the tiny shrink-a-dink version. Is this even visible? I mean, does this make sense to leave on the screen, or should I take it off? Um... Well, you don't you don't need it because you're not solving puzzles, I suppose. But uh, is it nice to keep up? I mean, do you want me to take it off? I can't see it. You're you're the only one can, who can see it. So you need to tell me if you don't like it. I suppose. So river. So it's back here. So where the hell is it? How do we miss... I pretty much don't care. Um, okay. How can you put a, a valve in a game like this and not be able to turn it? So it's in here somewhere, but I do not know where. It's definitely in the in the sub. In fact. That'll get us to the bleeder. Oh, hey, Pale. This settles the... Um... Hold on. It, uh, it says it's CWs. So... So that is CW. I mean, unless this is lying, you know. Um, okay. <sighs> no problem. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot of stuff on this map that's really useful. Crap! I feel like we just figured out something really cool, but at the same time, it didn't really give us anything. So, um, it does eliminate some options, though. We know, for example, that we cannot get to that locked door using um, teleportation or whatever, jumping across the, the sphere. Which means there's something behind this door. 
and that we can get to some other way. Probably the river. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my god! Ha <laughs> Why did this not work before? Does this this actually doesn't help us, does it? <laughs> Wreck. This actually doesn't help us. Um because I, I can't get through that door to get over here, and I can't get on that riverbank to get over here. So it, it uh as far as I can tell, it doesn't help us. Not only that, but I can't fix it. Uh, which, from a, a game standpoint, is probably a good thing because it means that uh, we 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 don't need to fix it. Like we just can find a solution. Um, but I, as far as I can tell, I mean, this doesn't do shit, right? So, um, so what could it possibly be? I mean, I can get up there. I, I guess we should look from up, up top. But as far as I can tell, there's nothing to do from down here. So let's, let's, let's head up top and using Oh my god, okay, using my handy dandy map, I can get up top by going through Farley's house and hanging a right. I'll tell you one thing. Maps rule. Uh, I feel like the first thing that we did when we went to that sluice was try to um, make it go that way. But maybe it was in the center position, and so when I turned it right, it went right. Uh, something like that. It sounds like Farley's got her own theme. I didn't pick up on that earlier. <clears throat> I just push this boulder into the river. Okay. Yeah, I'm not really seeing what I'm supposed to do. So yeah, I'm just I'm just looking at the map, make sure everything makes sense. Um, this was uh, purple. This is pink and goes to the other end of the wall, which makes sense. It's a straight wall. Um, and then we have a blue one from uh, from basically the right of Farley's house. It goes up there on that uh, that ridge. 
Well, gosh darn it. Do you think it would let me jump on it while it's moving? My guess is not, because I couldn't do it in the alien planet. This game doesn't seem really twitchy like that. But I suppose it's worth a shot if... Uh... Oh, it, it doesn't help. Yeah, okay. I can, I can discount that because there's no way to reset this at this point. So we have to be able to get on this ledge and then um, turn the propeller in order to move this. It's kind of weird. We've we've made progress but reduced our options. Because now I can't walk across this uh this bridge. Gosh darn it. Well, I'm pretty sure that that must mean that we. Oh, I have no idea. We know that we have to be on the opposite side of the door to open it. So. We have to be able to get on the opposite side of the door. If we're on the opposite side of the door, we can open it and come through. And probably you have to do that first before you can go down this riverbank. Probably. But that doesn't really tell us much. Crap, 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 crap. Hmm. So now we need to get, we definitely need to get on the other side of the river. And we definitely need to get under those holes up on the plateau. Balancing the steel beams. Yeah, I, I wish the character could jump and uh, do stuff like that.
just turn this off to save electricity. <clears throat> Whoops, all right, so I'll head up to the top of the plateau. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I can't seem to get from the left to the right. Like, that's how it looks. So I have to get from the right to the right. Like, there should be a way to get here uh, or get over here. And then now we can take this little bridge to get to the other part. Uh oh. I got stuck. But I'm okay now. It got better. So, how do we get down here? Can't hop. Even, um, even though I'm sure Joey would want me to jump down. He won't let us. These aren't moaning. Does that matter? So these telegraph lines go into here, but I don't know if that's for flavor um, or not. guess when we're back down there we should look for where the telegraph lines go to like a telephone see it's just this is <laughs> I have no idea all right uh Let's see if there's a way to somehow... You know, just a staircase we missed uh, somewhere. What is this thing? Oh, that's true. He has no feet, yeah. Um, I wonder, I mean, if he has no feet, does it, does he have legs? If he doesn't have legs, what is he standing on? So my thinking was we could we could take this back to the other side, but then that door would be blocked off. And I don't really see what the original stuff being here would, would help since that was here originally. This looks like a... Okay, this is this is how we got here the first time. All of a sudden I was like, oh my god, we figured out a new place. <sighs> I 
just want to go across the river. Why is that so hard? I could swim, I could wade, it's like a foot deep. But no. He's scared of water. <clears throat> See, we're, we're slowly circling that side of the river. Uh, like a like a predator it, circling its prey. Trying to intimidate the other side of the river. <laughs> Someone's garden. Yeah, maybe. They, they have their fishing poles and uh, picnic baskets sitting out. I think it's just about time to call the helpline. I'm going to take another screenshot of this <clears throat> to make sure we can read it. Um, okay, I think we've, I think we've re-explored the junkyard. Uh, So now I'm thinking, let's look at those telegraph lines. Oh, they're not telegraph lines, they're power lines. Gotcha. Yep, okay, the power lines. Tunnels, it's labeled tunnels, I think. So, now we know what to call it. How the hell do we get there? I mean, yeah, it's like a foot deep. Like, you could belly crawl and just hold your head up, and you'd be fine. Can't take the boat. That's not a valid solution. Um, if... Oh. Okay, I think that's for funsies. Um, okay. So I'm just I'm just about to uh, to give up trying to walk there. Which, as I relax, you know, my head and think, well, what's the next, um, what's the next likely thing? Um, I'm thinking, okay, if we go back to the bird planet, the green planet, 
maybe there's a way to make a bridge and to get out and then we'd be able to come over here but i i thought we had to do this part first yeah pushing through the bushes is just not done it's just not done um I, th I think I mentioned this earlier, but there's an option to disable or enable shadows, which I think is kind of neat for your for your own person. God, how stupid would I feel if it was like a lever standing right there? So I think I think we have to go back to the. Um, all right, here's here's where the 20 hour playthrough of this game becomes a 40 hour playthrough. Uh, I feel like we have to go to the bird planet, the green planet. Looks like there's a note. If only I could read it. So from the bird planet, we can teleport here. We know that. Um, but I thought that there, there was a door that we had to open before we can take advantage of that. And honestly, you know, maybe that is the case. You know, the, the solution could be on the blue planet or the yellow planet, you know, or whatever. But that's the closest thing I have to a, to a, to an idea. <laughs> arugula and steak <laughs> no one who eats steak eats arugula that's just ridiculous pet All right, we want to get back up there. Um, uh, let's see. Okay, let's let's test the map here. Um, you're a true steak, steaksman. Steakman. I mean, how ridiculous is this? Is this? I mean, I, I'm imagining that this is probably pretty maddening. If I, if there's just like a ladder and, and you hit scale ladder, but I don't see shit. So, sorry. The problem with a with a game where you can teleport <laughs> land masses around is that there's a whole lot of possible solutions. <clears throat> I mean, eventually, I'm sure we're going to get to the point where we have to travel between the three planets. Um, I, we've already done that, in fact. To open that door on the green planet, we had to go through stuff on the blue planet. Is, is there anything on the blue planet that we haven't done that, that we could think of? And I say we, of course, um, abstractly. I 
I feel like this is our best bet. The royal. It's there's there's really <clears throat> so somebody was um getting on me in chat. I can't I can't remember who, but I definitely use we because it's like we're playing the game together. But but in this game, we're not really playing the game together. You're kinda watching me uh struggle. So we may not make as much sense in this context. But come, uh, come along. <sighs> All right, that's the place that we teleported from, um, from the blue planet. Every, every bridge is a success. What is this? Why are, why can I even get here? What's the, po ooh? No, shit. What's the point? What's the point? There's literally nothing here in this alcove. What the fuck? Why would they do this? Why would they do this? They're just fucking with me. Now that I'm stuck, it's turned from uh, friendly game designers to uh, antagonistic game designers. Oh, that's that's that place across the the bridge we can't open, right? Hmm. Well, I don't see how to get there. Natural places have dead ends. That's true. It's true. And if that's the point, like, I guess I can let it slide. Um, so that bridge is kind of that way now, left of us. So this was the laser beam. I have to sneeze, hold on. Okay. Uh. These streams help me pretend we don't already know what to do. So experience the game differently. <clears throat> yeah, I, I'm, I'm, um, I'm happy to hear that I uh, um, am helping you experience the game in a different way. That's 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 perfect. Thank you. I've been thinking a lot about, you know, what <clears throat> what kind of streamer I am <clears throat> or want to be. Um, and I, I, I think I just, um, I enjoy sharing my thought processes. And I think that leads to kind of seeing what how I'm approaching the problems. <sighs> I 
right now my thought processes are pretty gummed up. <clears throat> It doesn't really make a whole lot of sense to put this back in the junkyard, I think. I think this is where we want it. Okay. So... This, maybe this is another natural area. <clears throat> maybe it's just to give you a vantage point of what's going on. But there doesn't seem to be anything to do down here. As far as I can tell. Okay. So here's where the potential possible... Oh, there's another bridge. So, on the other planet, on the first planet, in this position, there's like, I think is where we want to be. Um... All right, let's let's try something here. So I think the idea is we're supposed to build a bridge um, on the planet one side, <clears throat> but I thought that to do so we had to open a door. Maybe that assumption is false. So. There's kind of like a bridge beginning, but there aren't those things hanging out, so... So maybe, maybe, that's, maybe that's actually not how to think of it. Um, because that doesn't really make a whole lot of sense. But, so yeah, on the one hand, it doesn't make sense why, why we would make a bridge here when there aren't those side things, which I believe is how the bridge works, you know, science, technology, magic. Okay, I have an idea. What if we... Uh, I don't I, I, I don't know. I don't really have much of an idea. But I'm going to take this back and then take the one to the left. No. Hmm. I, I don't even know which makes more sense. I'm kind of grasping at straws. <clears throat> I 
But right now, in the other world... Okay, pal. All right, yeah. It's 6 a.m., Jesus. Um, have a nice night. I'll probably be stopping soon, too. I haven't had dinner. Um, sleep tight, pale. Um, if I take this one back... I don't think that's good. Nine PM. Are you on the West Coast? Actually you don't you don't need to answer that of course. Um if I take this one back, then there will be a bridge thing here. Right. Right. Ooh, I've got to figure out something to eat. So if this makes a bridge, I think I'm going to be sad because it doesn't make any sense to have a bridge unless um, you have those bridge bots. I mean, I guess, I guess it's good that we got past that. I just don't think there should be a bridge here. What's creating this bridge? And if it's, if it's the platforms, then what's the point of the things on the side? <clears throat> All right, so this is where the other spear is. So, I guess one question is, if we teleport, will it still be here? Probably. That's probably the solution. Um, I'm going to leave that. I wonder if this bridge is going to be shut. So, so I think we have to take the same bridge in both worlds. And maybe the game will make it easy for us and the bridge is just um, the bridges just stay. Yeah, okay, so the bridges just stay. Yeah, so what the fuck is the point of this thing? <clears throat> Alright. I think, I think we've got it. So now we can go through and get to the tunnels. <clears throat> Maybe. Somehow. Still not quite sure how it works, but... So there's the door we can't get through. The bridge is still here. Um, okay.
so I, I mean I guess we should teleport through and look at what returned on that side um, I feel like we might have to swap out the, the, the center, the, the middle piece. Maybe something about the geometry of the room matters, but I don't know. Um, oh, we've, we, is this the room we can rotate? This is the room we can rotate. That's, that's what we need to do. That is what we need to do. Um, but before I do it, I want to look at what returned. What? Where was this hiding? So, okay, there's, uh... <clears throat> okay, so this is the wrong spear for that side. There's a lot of stuff, and I don't know how much we have to fix, but probably all of it. Okay, all that makes sense to me. That's like a normal puzzle now. But what is this? I don't remember seeing two of them in this room. If we take this back, we're going to be behind a wall we've never been in, I think. I'm not actually sure. But at least the other stuff makes sense now. We need to build bridges on both sides using the same keypad. So let's take the key keypad home. Okay, so we know we need to rotate this. Okay, so when we come back on this one, uh, we can open the bridge on the other side. All right, but what is over here? So <clears throat> if we come back with this, So it's 
it's filet technology inside of the earth, the earth rock inside of Valean technology. So I think I will have to look at the radius of the other one, but so trying to imagine what's in the other side. Oh, I, uh, I don't even know. This one confuses me, but I'm going to take this back because typically in puzzles, you got to switch what you take back. This is, uh, this is really mixing things up. I feel like it's a sliding block puzzle, um, but with, you know, not a whole lot of pieces. <clears throat> so maybe we can work it out on paper if we have to. Um, Okay, this is this is kind of uh, what I was hoping. I, I didn't exactly know what to expect, but I figured um, we couldn't get through it on Earth. Or well, maybe we can. But the doors block us on this planet. This is a different elevator, right? Yeah. Oh, okay, that's a that's a recall button. Okay. Nothing we can do in here. This is making me a little uh, claustrophobic. Is this a maze? Is this an actual maze? I mean... Really? Really? So sadly, I cannot see what I need to see. Um, I'm hoping that this is one of these things where if we solve it, we don't have to um, keep solving it. But I don't know how to turn these pieces either. I think this is a comeback later puzzle. Once we turn those, once we can turn those pieces inside, then uh, uh, then we actually can do something. I'm, yeah. So the, on the other side, there's going to be two spheres, I think, uh, which is fine. <clears throat> So if we come back, let's say with this, should be able to create a bridge, and I bet 
willing to bet dollars to donuts that um, that this will get us to uh, to a door that'll get us to the other side of the river. Okay, we just need to enter the passcode here, which is tic tac toe. Crap. None of none of none of those were numbers. It's very awkward. Cake. Hello, Oleg. The gauntlet area is complex. It was meant to be. The Valayan intended to provide friction. The idea is to slow down any mass movement. I guess this is the maze in the world. Uh, now that we have begun to have suspicions. You'll notice that they have reformed and extruded entire areas to confuse and slow down any mass attack. Your task would be to reset all the locks in the gauntlet before being potted. Farley. Keys fleet to itself. Use a shade of blue ink that is not easily visible to the moving. So this seems to be a hint for the maze puzzle. I've taken a screenshot. Um, so I have to admit I am pretty sad. I thought we'd be able to get up to the riverbank. So look, there's the holes that go um, to the to the plateau. Um, Can't seem to walk up here. So, okay. All right, so then the only other idea I have left is to get the correct rock. You see how this is the Big Thunder Mountain at Disney Island? I haven't been to Disney Island. Um, what, uh, is it like a mountain? Do you, like you go through a mountain in the ride? All right, what if I put the Valayan stuff here by sending this room across? Mm. 
It, yeah, it looks so for me. It's I feel like it's like we're in uh, Arizona or something. It looks very. All right, I, I'm gonna try this. I'm gonna go back across like this. This is this doesn't make any sense to me, but uh, I'm gonna see what happens. I'm not entirely sure what they want me to do. But I'm... Simrock's lots of little pipes, my equipment. Don't necessarily make sense. Um... Shite. So the only other thing I can think of doing is just putting it back together, but I don't know why we do that. All right, good night, Joey. Thanks for stopping by. Um, all right, new idea. we've done it but I'm not sure if I get both of the rock ones here maybe we can walk through but um, I'm also gonna go ahead and swap one of these so let's uh, let's get this across we'll get the right we'll get the right sides we'll do two things at once So we'll switch before we forget. Oh, come on. Okay, I think this has to be on the other side before we swap, but uh, let's look over here. Okay, and this one doesn't have swappers. So... Uh, okay. Um, I believe that there may be an opening somewhere, and if we had the right pieces, they we could walk through it, maybe. But I can't see through the rock, so I don't know where the holes would be. Probably we could back our way into it, but... Um... All right, if I, I have to come back through in this. 
in order to get access to the other place. I think I'm un I think I'm undoing a solution here, but uh, I really, really want to get to the riverbank. And maybe I'm not being as careful as I should be. seems to be the, the, the blockage is in the uh, outer shell. So I have to travel back with the outer shell. It's good that they put two little puzzles next to one another. Otherwise, uh, I think I'd tear my hair out watching this animation. Let's, let's just let's just do it. Let's not think about it. I, I really think we're undoing a puzzle. I, I just I can't remember having both rock holes at the beginning. It's always been a uh, Valayan thing. Okay. Now we have a Valayan shell and a rock doohickey. And I'm pretty sure this one belongs on this side. And um, yeah. teleport back with it. Does this does this fit? I can't even tell. Well, I think it fits together, but I'm not actually sure. If it does, we didn't open up anything new. All right. If we take this back, I believe that this will be all stone over here. I think. And just for kicks, because this is all belaying, um, oh, that doesn't make any sense. Is it not possible to get these lined up right? Uh, okay, well, whatever. Let's take this back. So I'm hoping that we can walk through the rock now. Um, if we can't, I am I feel like I'm out of ideas. Oh my god, it's boarded up. So we have seen this before. What 
a waste. Shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. So we, we completely undid that puzzle. This pickaxe completely undid that side. There's no point in having rock here. Um, there's, I could definitely see a circle, <clears throat> but uh, we've seen how even when it's matched up, you can see circles sometimes. So I can't tell if it's just a, a bug in the engine, or I mean, uh, in the game. If this was Minecraft, this puzzle, yeah, uh, yeah, true. If, if we could just mine through the wall, uh, it changes everything. So, as far as I, I can tell from my limited geometric ability, the valet inside has less wall. So, I'm going to carry around the outer shell, carry the valet and the outer shell back to the, uh, the earth place. And then we're going to fix this puzzle. If I didn't know any better, considering how long it takes to do this, I'd think there's no way this is uh, how how these puzzles work. <clears throat> like, surely when they were user testing this and they had to load over and over and over, somebody said, hey, can you speed this up? Um, all right, so now we can actually see how it fits in. So there's really nothing. There's nothing that you can get to. Um, so then, what the hell? What the hell? If there's nothing you can get to, then then there's totally no way to get out of here. And if there's no way to get out of here, how do we get to the riverbank? I'm totally convinced that you don't know the answer. That's um, that's that seems pretty bad. Uh, that scares me. I feel like I messed something up uh, pretty big. Um, shit. Shit. So I could swap these, but I think they're in the right place. I think. 
Okay, we take this back. So one more swap. Uh, one more swap puts this pathway in the other world. Um, crap. Crap. Crap on a stick. So, okay, there's no way that that's blocking anything, right? I can see around the whole sphere. So, no matter what I put there, that doesn't matter. Um, I can see around this whole sphere. So, no matter what I put in that slot, it doesn't matter. So with this, I I'm I have no trail to get to across the river. I thought for sure we would be able to get into the tunnels. I mean, those are literally the tunnels. There must be... Maybe there's another teleporter over here that we haven't seen. Okay. So now both Valayan spheres are on Earth. Well, you know what I mean. This door is um, horrible. Can I can I use a credit card to lift this up? No. Okay. Yeah, I feel like there's literally... nothing to do. So right now, all of the rock on the far side is, is here, 
and um, and all of the Valayan stuff on this side is um, is there. So this lets us walk through here again, which has the puzzle with circles. I don't know what the circles are. I guess they're the circles on the um, on the board. But I don't see how to move them. Um, so I'm going to look for the here we go just kind of so there's um, four circles a circle on the right two circles, circle on the right Gauntlet area is complex. It was meant to be related to uh, fiction. So, doesn't really seem to line up with the. Uh, ah, but. I noticed when we walked in, there's an entrance to this. Um, I guess the point is to... Yeah, I, I think we should look and see what it looks like down below, but... Obviously, it's not solved, but we can get in it. Oh, look, there's a whole thing down below. Ooh. It's a whole thing down below. Okay. Maybe the things that spin we get to from below. I mean, if I can make progress on this puzzle, then maybe the solution to getting across the riverbank will present itself. Um, I feel like we have to check every time. So we're looking for something without a floor, I guess. Wait. <laughs> okay, this is that's easier. There's a basement. This is a death ray. Oh my god. I just realized how this works. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Turn off. Oh no. I teleported. So this the whole thing rotates as one. And then there's four oh there's two speed uh, there's four spheres. Spheres are always connected in pairs, so it's like two pairs. Um, and you have to swap them and rotate and swap and rotate in order to... Some of that may be true, but not all of it. Because I did not land where I expected to land. So this is the tunnels. I expected to land in another sphere. I still think that that's the, the puzzle, but not exactly how I said it. So... I'm super happy because there's still a chance we can get out of here. Oh, that's the stuff. That is the stuff. Fuck yeah. So, okay. 
So now the way that I think that it works is. Oh, but that's not how that's not how spheres works. But we basically we come back here, we run through here, we teleport, we go to the maze, and then we keep spinning it and then swapping circles. It's still it's something like that. But let, let's um let's try to get out. I want to get to the surface. Um, this looks like it's loading. Okay, that was weird. Fuck yes. No, no, no. Lift up. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes, yes, yes. The sweet taste of victory. Dark Souls shortcuts? So, I haven't played Dark Souls, and I want to play Dark Souls unspoiled as well. Um, so, this is, this is why playing unspoiled feels so good. Because... I... I... I um struggled through it even when I wanted to give up like I really wanted to give up and I wanted to ask is this possible how do you get here what's the um but I fucking made it we actually got to the other side of the river this is uh everything I ever wanted in a, in a video game um I have a feeling that I'm, I'd be much better at abduction than Dark Souls <laughs> Uh, but who knows? So I'm gonna. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look down the bank and see what's down here. Maybe we'll go through that mine shaft, and then um, and then I think I'm gonna call it a night because it is uh, it's super late. I haven't eaten dinner. But um, oh god, I love this game. I'm definitely playing tomorrow. I'm gonna screenshot this. This could be this could be a puzzle. I could imagine this being a puzzle. Yeah, like if they if they got to see it, um, they might watch the video. Um, at least you know I could I could send them a timestamp. Okay, what is in here? Okay, we have another teleporter. God only knows where it goes. Screenshot, please read thoroughly. We must have every detail in place. Our lives and our species depends on this being executed perfectly. The locations and times in this document are based on information leaked by Ruko and Chavar. Our lives depend on the actual the information received from them. We've seen we've seen a document like this before. Oh, they're swapping and they're um, putting bombs. So they're using swapping technology to put bombs, it seems. Let's let's see where this goes and then uh, call it a night. <laughs> Sorry, Miles. I probably should have stopped earlier. For this kind of game, you know, you have to play with your audience, but I, it's so hard to stop playing. I, I couldn't play yesterday, and um, and I just thought about it all day. fuck is this? Oh, we're outside. So so this is the Mofang world, which I think is the world that we're on. 
but we must be outside of our sphere because um, you know usually we can't walk on this stuff what the hell this is crazy there's a tree this is so crazy um, I, I'm finding it really hard to get my bearings here. Is this even the same sphere? Oh, that sounds crazy. Um... Took him six months. <laughs> I I love the idea that someone would um, would stick with something like that though. Jeff Green, former editor of Computer Gaming World. Um. That's really cool. I mean. I applaud him. Uh, oh, here we go. Oh, we've got some fog. So. Oh my god, this game is crazy. I keep I've I've been saying that since since pretty much the first teleport, which I believe was a uh, across the across the sphere. Where, how am I supposed to recognize anything here? Oh, streaming once a week. Okay, I guess that makes more sense. Um, but yeah, there's some games like... Uh, do you know La Mulana? Ooh, I just got a uh, an achievement. Raising Arizona. Uh, I, I have to say, I don't think we've seen this. I don't think we've seen that part of of Earth. I don't remember the power lines. Um, I had, I kind of, ex for some reason, I expected to find another swapper back to uh, a new place. Oh. Oh, we found the tree already. Well, we have to go in it, right? Um, the other ones had walls. Got another achievement. My heart soars. Um, Miles, I'm curious if you've ever played uh, La Milana, a uh, puzzle adventure platformer game. All right. My, my guess is that we can go through a teleporter now. I don't know which one. This one. Boom! And now we're back on Earth. You bought Lama Lana but never got very far. Um, so I love Lama Lana. Love, love, love Lama Lana. And I wish I could go back and play it without spoilers because when I played it through I got really frustrated because I, I think I expect it to be more of a platformer. And it's really a puzzle game.
Um, okay, so the next, okay, we're gonna stop. We're gonna stop as soon as I get sort of out. All right. Uh, yeah, so I wish I could play it unspoiled, but it's too, uh, it's too late for that. I already know. Oh, you got mute. So I, oh, ooh. I'm not sure what to think about that. I feel like the music is really great and doesn't get boring, but I guess to each his own. Um, there was a, there was a free La Milana and then a, a remade La Milana. I, I guess if you got it from Steam, you had to do the, the remake, but the, the remake has great music. I, I kind of personally think it is repetitive. So I get what you're saying. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Um, But to beat that game, you have to be diligent. You have to like make maps and take notes. And I just wasn't, I just didn't do it. And then I, I wasn't in the right mindset. Um, and I'm kind of thinking, I, I really enjoy that. I, I like this. Um, we've, we've definitely had to take notes and do a little arithmetic. But uh, we've managed to, to to give water to the second tree. We have a teleporter to this uh, crazy world. And now the next thing we're going to do, the next time we play, just to say it so I hopefully remember, is I want to go back to the across the river and see what teleported back. So that's uh, that's the first thing we do. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, Miles, you especially, for hanging in there. This was a long a long stream, but uh, we got a lot done, I think. Um, so yeah, I'll probably stream again tomorrow. Um, so I hope to see everybody there. And uh, hope you have a nice night.